Nie mogę nic znaleźć w górę. Tylko przybieraj z góry. Pokoju. Na łóżku jej, na bank. Nawet nie przynosiłem. Tam ją rozbierałem w tym. Okay, now sound is on. I'm sorry. It was muted for a second. We're good. I guess we're good. Eight viewers. Welcome back. Long time no see. What up? You got my headphones because I gotta listen to music while I'll be old and stuff. Okay, it should be sounding good right now. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let me just fix the um, levels and stuff. What up? Welcome, Pete. Welcome, Cody. Welcome, you people. Long time no see. Um, the face cam is not the best because I'm using a very old laptop right now. Um, but we've got this guy. I just went to the Lego store today and picked it up. Uh, as you as you know, yesterday I think I posted a, a news video about this guy. And surprisingly enough, Lego just decided to put it up the next day on March 1st. Is the sound good? Let me know. It's been a while. Um, I did have to reset my stream setup and stuff like that. I haven't been streaming for months. So please let me know if everything is working um, in the chat. That would be great. And that will be awesome. Okay, cool. We got six viewers right now. Uh, gonna ramp up some, some people, but we're gonna open this set and get it done. So for those of you who don't know, Fiat 500 came out just today. It's the next creator expert set. Um, 960 pieces for 90 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, not the best, I've seen better prices for creator sets, set number 10271, but it's so cute. It's like in the line of that Beetle uh, classic cars, like the Mini Cooper from back in the day. Um, is the chat alive? Are we good? Are we good? I hope we're good. Cool, I think the stream is healthy. Just checking, I'm, I'm really like freaking out because I, I haven't been streaming for such a, such a long time. And I'm using an older laptop once again, so um, it's not my initial like final setup that I'm working on. But yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Appreciate ya. Um, the, the second cam is actually a bit better. So let me switch and see if everything works. I literally, <laughs> I literally like picked it up like an hour ago and came back home and said like, why? I just want to stream it and talk to you guys and like say, say hi, I'm back, kind of. Uh, it will be great. Okay. Let's see if it works. Hey, it does work. So we have an uh, overhead cam like this. Perfect. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Cody. Welcome, my initial viewers here on the stream. Not many, but hey, we're gonna chill. We're gonna build this set. It shouldn't take too long. I mean, it's below, nine, uh, below a thousand pieces. We should be good. I'm gonna be adjusting my mic a bit here and there, but I think we're good. Hello, Andrew. Welcome. Uh, by the way, um, nice to see you guys, really appreciate it. Um, as you know, I haven't been doing videos for a while now, but I have returned and um, this is the first like test stream to test the waters. I still feel like I'm not super 
confident with YouTube yet. <laughs> But you know you gotta you gotta get back to the game and start somewhere again, right? Awesome. Um, of course, let me know if there's anything bad with the street. If there's um, <clears throat> any music issues, anything like that, let me know. I can fix everything as I as I go, right? So once I have it set up, I can we can stream once more, and it's gonna be awesome. All right. You know what? I'm gonna just start opening this set. Eleven viewers. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you who has just joined, this is the Fiat 500, the newest creator expert set. Just came out today. I was today at the Lego, so I was like, why not? Let's pick it up. How is everyone doing? Owen, oh, welcome. Nice to see you. You can see that those weird, like, see that on the left side of the screen? Cool factor, John, John, John. It was me testing Streamlabs, so please forgive me. I don't know how to reset it. We can make it a little smaller. Oh, the cool factor donated eighty-seven dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, I was just testing this little box, and it's kind of kind of cool thing. I, I used to use it back in the day, for like people subscribe and I see and everything happens. Um, nice to compliment the Mustang and the Mini Cooper. Yeah, can't really hear the music. Okay, I can I can I can live it up. I'm still testing the levels, so let me know if the music starts overwhelming my voice. Uh, but I just raised the levels just a bit. So it's a bit better. Hopefully it's gonna be better though. Okay. Still in, in like much of a... Kind of a testing phase here, to be frank. Okay. I think we're good. This music should be better now. It's very chill music, so not much happening there, as I can hear my, on my headphones. Thanks, Cody, for the for the um, the feedback. I appreciate it. I'm a perfectionist. I like to have things working. Okay, opening the box. Um, by the way, yeah, just like a shot of the back of the box. You can see this set comes with this. Uh, I think they call it the cool yellow color. So it's not the full yellow, the full on blown yellow from Lego. It's more like this toned down yellow, which I really like. Um, my friend at the Lego store, she said that, hey, is that, a, is that a mistake? Like, did Lego have that color before? Like, yeah, that, that cool yellow was there before, but it's not a very common color. So they kind of went with um, with this toned down version for the La Dolce Vita. It's, it's the, the nickname of this beautiful car from the 60s. All right, Fiat 500. Um, and let's open the box. Why, why, why not, right? Let's, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's open the box. Of course, I'm gonna be reviewing this set as well for you guys uh, after the stream. You know, not today because it's super late. It's like 8 p.m., 8:20 p.m. in California where I'm at. Uh, but uh, hopefully, I'm gonna record a review tomorrow and uh, post a, a proper video for you guys. But stream is for chilling and you seeing the um, the stuff, how it's built. Just picked up the UCS Millennium Falcon today. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Oh man, you're in for a treat. What a set. Back in my brick vault days, we built the Falcon over like three or four days of streaming. That was insane. That was kind of crazy. But still, I have still my copy in the box right in that closet behind me. All right, uh, let's see what we have in the box. So first of all, the, the car comes with uh, a cloth retractable roof, like a sunroof. So that's the, that piece, uh, a special cut. For the car it does have a oh look at that manual the graphic i'm gonna open it in a second there's a a plethora of stickers the cool thing about one of the stickers is that there is the poland flag sticker for the luggage so kind of like a little nice easter egg for me i'm polish and um how many bags how many bags the bags are numbered up to three you know, so like bag number three is times, it's like such a small, you see like how many, like that many bags, that's all it is. So bag number three is times, times three, I think. Yeah. So bag number three is, three is times three. I'm going to move it on the side for now. Bag number one is times three as well. And bag number two is times three as well. So we have nine bags and that's it. Nice. Okay. I'm going to move the number two and number three away from me for now. Keep it at number one here. Did they intentionally make it that yellow to look like the Luigi from Cars? I don't know. 
I think they just wanted more unique color than your classic Lego yellow, you know? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, look at that beautiful manual, guys. Look at that. Nice, check it out. Such a, look at the graphic. It's such an unusual graphic, right? It's kind of beautiful. This like Italian view. It's kind of like washed down, so it doesn't feel like fully, I think it's it's desaturated on purpose to look like a, like an old school Fiat catalog from the 60s. Maybe that's what it is. And just the back is just a beautiful Fiat Nuova 500. Hello, Apprentice Brick, welcome to the stream. How do you all think this uh, car compares in size with the Beetle? I don't have the Beetle here, actually, so um, I don't know. I, I don't really know the scale, actually. I should check the scale, what the scale is at. All right, let's browse the manual, since we know it's the creator expert set, so they always do some cool cool lore for e each car they make. So you can see, this is the, um, the history of the Fiat logo. Uh, I remember this one. I remember this Fiat logo because a lot of Fiats, like a 126P, was kind of a Polish car. Fiat had like a production in Poland back in the communism era. And I remember that logo being on our very terrible but funny cars. And my friend used to have one. It's like those cheapo, almost pl plasticky cars that they were making for super cheap. And the, the, it was Fiat 126P. Check it out, you can Google it. Um, and we actually had a card called Cinquecento, which is 500 in Italian. And this is the Fiat 500, so it was kind of a based off it. So that's funny. So there is the lore. You can see, I'm not sure the focus is going to work just right, but uh, I think I'm on manual focus right now. Okay, let's see what's here. Fiat 500. All the versions, the C, the R, the Rinovata, Lusso. Really cool, huh? Okay, what's next? La Dolce Vita. I think that's how I advertised it. So some extra facts about the car. Really like that presentation. Uh, in many ways, the launch of the Fiat 500 captured the spirit of the time, especially in a mid-1950s Italy that was enjoying an economic boom and a cultural renaissance. The 500 quickly became an icon for a generation that was better mind determined to savor what became known as the good life. La Dolce Vita in Italian. Very nice. Apprentice Brick, um, what camera do you use for your videos? Um, this camera, this one that is shooting my, my table right now is a Lumix G7. It's a Panasonic Lumix G7 with just stock lens. It's like I think 18 to 55 lens that comes with this with the package. So I, I've been using this for for years now, like back in my Brick Vlogs, for in Brick Vault, all my videos. I think few videos I shot lately on a borrowed RX100 from Sony. And I shot a few videos for Beyond the Brick on a Sony a7 III. That was like a really fancy camera I had for a few days. Um, and this is just a webcam, so it's terrible, I know. It's, it's bad, but I'm gonna get a better one. So thank you for the question. Um, I just got the latest wave of Speed Champions and I love this swap and uh, to eight studs wide. Just waiting on the Lamborghini pack uh, because there was a bit of a mix-up. Got it. Dude, like, I really want those Speed Champions too. Like, I never, I didn't really try any of the eight stud sets, but I, I really want it. The challenge, you know, colorful, curvy, there is a bunch of things. Okay, going through the manual real quick. Look at the presentation. Like a 60s catalog. Beautiful. Hello, Jock. Jock, Jock, Jock S. G-A-C-C-H-S. Welcome. Awesome. All right, guys. So first bag, the, the lower chassis, second bag, upper chassis, and three we finish. Okay? Okay, cool, let's go, let's go. And of course, as always, guys, plug in any, anything. Like, if you want to support me, you can donate, you can click the super chat, you can do things. Always appreciate it. Um, you know, I can, so I can keep going, return to this channel properly and have budget for <laughs> making videos because it gets expensive sometimes. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Oh, and follow me on Twitter and stuff. Twitter is uh, be below my webcam. Um, Michael Michael Richter is my Twitter, and I am the Cool Factor. You can find me on Facebook if you are not following. I'm gonna be try trying to revamp those platforms and get back to the game of social media, which I was lacking a lot. Huh. Okay. No problem, Apprentice Brick. It's a really good camera. The Lumix G7 is an older camera now, but. 
it's it has you know you can see my videos 90% of the videos I made were, were, were shot on that camera and on pretty basic lens really a no-brainer I shouldn't go did you get the 40th anniversary train with the purchase yeah that's why it's right here Ta-da! I don't really want to open it <laughs> I kind of want to save it. It's so nice, but I want to review it as well. I mean, it's a, it's you know it's a, it's a comeback. It's a throwback set with that one. I mean, to 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 meet the the price requirement for this one, because this one had you had to spend like ninety nine dollars. The Fiat is is ninety, like eighty nine. So I also to match this um this price, I picked up the Mandalorian battle pack. Duh, because it's so popular now, and like I really wanted those minifigs, so. I got the Mandalorian battle pack along with, with the car and I got the train that way. There you go. Hey, what's up? How have I been the last few months? Oh, Andrew, it was it was off and on. I was I was in a state of mind that you know what? I'm actually I'm I have a video planned when we're gonna just like talk. I'm gonna talk about what was going on, what's the future of this channel in my eyes. Um, so long story short, that last video I made that was like recovering from like, a, you know, a bit of a depression and things like that. Um, I, I had, I needed a few more months to get back on track, to be frank with you. Um, and it, it worked. I mean, I built some habits that helped me. I focused on my work because I do have a full-time job. Um, sorry about opening those bags so long, but I'm, I'm still chatting with you. Um, so I, I, I focused on my work, I focused on my life a bit to get back on track and now here I am with like more energy and things like that. So yeah, it's been good few months to recover from a pretty bad state of mind, but I'm, I'm back, I'm kind of back. Cool. Hey, the cool factor. Come on, adventures, welcome. Um, whiskey, welcome. We have to spend one night in Australia for the train. Holy moly, that's a lot. All right. <laughs> I, I, I keep hearing those terrible stories from Australia about the prices of, of Lego there. Oh my god. I'm sorry. If, I, if it was, you know, dependent on me, I would really like to lower those prices for you. It's kind of crazy. How is the Australian dollar like comparable to an um, American dollar? I know the Canadian dollar is like, you know, um, it's a bit of a different buying power than then um, American dollar, of course, is different denomination, but yeah. All right, starting with bag number one, just like starting the chassis. Man, it's nice to be back on the stream. I kind of miss those. I just never had time to make them or the, the mental capacity to make them, you know. But we're kind of back, and I'm happy. Twelve viewers. I wonder if like more people will join. I hope <laughs> that'll be nice. One sixty conversion. Yeah, I hope those few months um, were helpful. Yeah, they were. I think my kiddo is knocking on the door. <laughs> my wife promised to take care of her so I can stream. No, I had a family day today. We went for a walk, kind of chill. That was a nice day. I enjoy my, my weekends more now. It's nice. I used to, um, you know, I used to work in a Lego store for a long time, along with my brick vault work. Um, and that took all my weekends off, like, I mean, away from anything else. All my weekends were just working. Okay, let's see. In Mexico, the Fiat cost the equivalent to a hundred dollars. So that's pretty comparable in Mexico, I guess. I mean, in the US it's $90, 89.99. It's on the screen, right? Like somewhere, right here, like or here, yeah. 
16 viewers, welcome new people. Nice to see you. It's a, it's a, it's a Mike here and we're doing a Lego set today. Just chilling on a Sunday night. I know not many people can join because school and stuff tomorrow. But this set came out today and I figured that I might as well stream it, right? Um, I just picked it up like two hours ago, I swear. Oh, it's extra six to get the train. Got it, Cody. What retired set do you want the most? 10A179 Falcon, Death Star 2? Uh, I'm not sure, like, you know, with the new UCS Falcon, I, I don't feel like getting back to the old one at all. Like, I used to, like, crave that set, but since the new UCS Falcon came out, not so much anymore. Okay. I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell what retired set I would like to see. Maybe, maybe the Superstar Destroyer, you know, the UCS Superstar Destroyer. I would like to see it again. I mean, we got a beautiful ISD uh, just, you know, lately um, that is proudly sitting on, in the other room on, on my shelf. Um, I, sh I should do like a tour video of, of my mini collection because, believe it or not, I don't have a lot of Lego at home here uh, because of space constraints and just like, you no. Know, um, I used to work with a lot of Lego, but never really owned a lot of Lego. Now I do have some Lego because I've been, uh, you know, reviewing for Beyond the Brick and things like that, and I'm still with them. Shout out to Beyond the Brick, check them out. Um, it's been quiet lately with, in terms of set reviews, but we're gonna get back on track once you know more sets come out. Um, but I do, I don't do not really have an extensive collection, but I do have a little, little nice, cute shelf of Lego that I, I should be able to maybe do a mini vlog and show it how it works, how, how it how it. It looks in my apartment. Have you seen the new Clone Wars season? Uh, I, I haven't yet. I, I should see it. I didn't have a chance to see it. I do have Disney Plus. New Lego store coming to Buffalo, New York. I'm desperate to get a job there. Closest one is two hours away. Get it, dude. It's such a fun job. I joined the Lego store here in San Diego UTC Mall. Like, I opened that store. Like, I joined, I was the OG crew. I was the OG crew and we opened the store, you know, about four years ago. I left like last year uh, for my main job that I have right now as a video editor in the bigger company. But, but yeah, I opened a store here in San Diego, the OG crew. Today I, I went to pick up the Fiat. Do you say Fiat or Fiat? In Polish you would say Fiat, but it's Fiat, I don't know. So I, I went to pick up the Fiat and, um, and, you know, I talked with my previous supervisor. She's still my friend. And there were two new people there, and I was like, I opened the store, guys. And they were like, only working there for like the last two weeks. <laughs> it was funny. I was, I'm the OG. <laughs> that was fun. Sup, Mike and Bricks, welcome. Mike, sometime in the future you should bring your family on a stream or in a video. Maybe, you know, I'm the type of guy that I... I don't know, like some people have it different, but I... I'm the type of guy that does not want to have my kids in a public view i don't know it's kind of like my choice uh i know it's fun and cute and there are like a lot of family vloggers and things like that but i'm this type of guy that you know i want my kids to have their privacy kind of maybe um that's kind of like how i feel so i'm not sure about that however oh yeah i kind of answered your question I bricklinked um, the 10179 Falcon for 800 bucks three years ago. Only difference is the radar dish and the engine shipping mess pieces. Yeah, those those um, back pieces for the engines, those shipping ship ship masts were like super expensive because they were only in gray for that particular set, and they became like super collectible piece. I remember that. Oh yeah, I tried to bricklink the original Falcon for 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 so many years, even before I joined Brickvault. Okay, we gotta do the axles real quick. Sorry guys, I gotta focus a bit to like build the axles so I don't mess up here. Okay. Just realizing how the younger LEGO YouTube crowd can be a bit nasty. Glad you're still posting, man. Eh, I mean, everybody gets their first share of hate, you know? I've been, I've been hearing hate towards myself like so many times because of my accent or whatever there is to hate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
but I, I do find like the current YouTube community with the younger, um, you know, age speaking, like I'm over 30 now, but um, younger YouTubers that do Lego, like Just The Good, MNR, you know, I met Justin uh, personally um, in, um, in Toronto when we did that um, Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed event. You can check out like a vlog on Beyond the Brick if you haven't already. Um, but Justin was there just to good and he, he's like a super chill cool guy. I wish we'd like get to know each other better a bit because we, we had like only one day to, to like talk and stuff. Um, I would like to collab with him at some point in the future for sure. MNR seems to be a nice guy too. For example. I kind of wanted to like jump on their um, little podcast at some point in time. You know, their um, bricks, brick, 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 bricks, bricks and pieces? Brick? No, that's, that's um, Brickitect. Uh, what's their podcast? That, that, that thing they do when they talk stuff. I'm sorry, like, I'm trying to uh, focus on the chat, but also I'm trying to build, so... <laughs> what would you say is the favorite set you have in your collection? Um, I, I have says that I didn't build, and I have says that I built, but if you, com if you think about everything I have, it's still the Falcon, I mean, I have it in the box. Um, but I think... Um, also, the treehouse is is like really really nice set. Anything else? I like that. No, the NASA lander is in the other room. But the I is the I, so many sets I like. It's the hardest question I can ask anybody who likes Lego. I like the cool yellow on the Fiat. What do you think about it? I think it's very unique to. Oh my god, that's the wrong piece. Sorry guys. I think it's very it's it's cool to have it. Definitely, a nice thing. That's what I said in the beginning. I think it's very unique for them to include that that difference in the color. Because like I think full on blown yellow would just look weird and kind of like too much, you know. Bricks and bits, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to appear on that sometime. I think MNR even even t mentioned that he would like to invite me at some point, but never followed up. So maybe if he wants to, I'm down to be a guest on their podcast, talk stuff. Why not? Bricks and bits, exactly. Yes. Do you think LEGO will uh, ever bring back the 9 volt train platform? I'm really not a fan of replacing batteries. I don't know. I guess there was a reason they kind of scrapped it. And they're kind of changing the way the train tracks are, are gonna be in the next, I think, phase of trains. So they're kind of upgrading. So I don't think they're, they're ever coming back to the 9 volt system. I mean, it's a pretty old school technology, right? With the nine volts. I don't think, you know what? I think maybe the regulations right now with the toys and just the market might, may prevent that from happening. Basically what you had were metal tracks with power running through them. So in the current world with the safety of toys, I don't think that's gonna be ever approved, especially in places like United States. You know, things have changed since um, at since toys were a 9 volt power just running through a metal track with no insulation. <laughs> I think that's the reason that they, they may not try to come back to it. I got the Hogwarts castle about six months ago and it started to get dusty and I might take it apart and build again. <laughs> it usually gets the dust off and I get to enjoy the build again. Kind of cool idea. Oh, I think the Hogwarts castle was one of the craziest experiences I had as a Lego YouTuber. I built it for Brick Vault. It, it was an insane long build. I enjoyed every second, second of it. Then what followed was, I think, one of the most comprehensive reviews I have ever made. That review, like if you remember that review on Brick Vault for the Hogwarts Castle, that was like a 20 minute video, but I had a full on crazy long script that I wrote. The shots for this took me like three hours or something. Editing took like a day. It was one of the craziest and I think the best reviews I ever made and I'm super, I was super proud of it. 
I think it was a good video. I remember, like, there are a few videos I'm super proud I, I made. Uh, one of them was at Hogwarts Castle. The other one was the Mustang, uh, Creator Mustang review that I was really into and I think it turned out great. Few, few, like, reviews I really remember that really stuck with me as, as the videos I was really proud of. So, good old days, huh? Uh, Tross, what do I think of the um, Rise of the Skywalker? I liked it. I liked it. Much better than The Last Jedi, for sure. I don't know, there were some inconsistencies and weird things that they chose, and, you know, the whole shtick with Disney changing, um, you know, um, the script. J.J. Abrams' script, like, last minute. That was kind of like a weird thing they did, but I liked the movie, even though... I kind of want to see a director's cut, because I think there was a different cut from J.J. Okay, how are you guys doing? How's things? Tell me. It's a chill stream on a Sunday night. Tell me. How have you been? How is stuff? How is stuff with you guys? As you can see, I'm much better off. I'm, I'm back to my channel doing videos, things. It's been nice. I kind of want to get back to the streaming game. Again, there's gonna be a video of me talking um, what's up, what have, what, you know, ideas I have for the future. I'm gonna be asking you questions. Basically, what would you like to see on my channel? Um, you know, cause I'm more like a hobbyist right now. I, I do have a full-time job that takes majority of my time, but Lego is still a big thing for me. And even through all those times when I didn't post videos or just did nothing about this channel, I kept thinking about the videos and I couldn't stop. I was like, just my mind wasn't there, you know, but I, but I really, really wanted to get back to the game. It was like, I was afraid to take the camera, but I was also craving to take the camera, if you know what I mean. That was, uh, that was my state of mind. And finally, I kind of want to get back to the game. Okay, I like this yellow a lot. I've been doing okay, I guess, lol. <laughs> that doesn't sound very convincing. Or So okay or not? I guess. I like... Yeah, I would say the same thing, like... Ups and downs, but okay, I guess. No, like, overall I turned out... Um, I, I'm, it turned out good the last few months. Would you want the 500 first battle pack? <laughs> Well, I know MNR is really pushing the campaign to make it happen, so I do support him. I think it would be a great pack, and uh, who knows, maybe somebody at LEGO heard him, and maybe that's gonna happen. I do like the battle packs, that's, that's why I picked the, uh, the Mandalorian battle pack too. So, uh, yeah. Okay, what we're doing here, cool. What Lego conventions do you go to or plan to going uh, going to in the future? Um, well, with Beyond the Brick, we went. I, I by the way, I skipped Bricks LA this year. Kind of forgot about it, but um, just didn't have time to go as well. So, but last time we went to, uh, I went to uh, Brick Con Seattle. So there was a vlog on this channel, and there was a coverage from by me at beyond the brick so did that at end we're going to Bri to brick world chicago in june for sure i mean they're going for a lot of different conventions but brick world is where i'm going to i'm gonna be working with them on brick world chicago so you know it's gonna be a first time for me i never been to this one i know it's the biggest um okay, this way okay cool so yeah, that's the next big one for me. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else between, in between. But yeah, we're going, it's gonna be me, um, Boone Langston, you know, the guy who actually right now um, competes in LEGO Masters US. So he's beyond the brick, if you didn't know. 
uh, he's part of the team. Um, and there's gonna be Joshua and John too. So we're gonna be a four-man team in Brickworks, Chicago. So come say hi, you're gonna see us in our red shirts. I'm excited for the ATRT and Bark Speeder. See, that's that's coming out this year. Yeah, that's a good one. By the way, I think the Star Wars way for this year, I did not cover it in the news or anything, but I think it's gonna be great this year. I don't think we know the full wave yet, but you know, the rumors so far are strong. So yeah, cool stuff. Okay, what up with that? I'm slow, am I? Yes, I am. It's like building on a stream is always weird. So slow. <laughs> Probably I could make this set in like half the time. I wasn't streaming. But I wanted to stream. Okay. You know, when it comes to my channel, like I've been also thinking a lot, that's what this video is going to be about, about how to continue and also managing my budget and things like that. So we're going to probably talk Patreon, talk things. I do have a Patreon, but I didn't really promote it because I wasn't feeling confident of, you know, how my Patreon should work. Um, and I'm this type of guy when I don't want to ask people for money specifically. But you know, with the recent changes and, and COPPA, that didn't really hit me, but also I feel like the advertising on YouTube is a bit different now. Um, and Junk even went, uh, you know, um, Patreon and he's doing pretty well. So I think that's something we should talk about at some point in time, because I think that's the very good way of creators to keep going, to like make sure they're supported and stuff like that. Uh, it's a hard topic for me, but we'll see. Do I know Junk Bricks? No, no, not personally. Uh, we're YouTube friends, kind of. Uh, you know, he responds to a lot of my comments on his videos. Uh, you know, kind of few discussions here and there, but like, I don't know him personally. I would like to meet him and maybe do a tour of his studio at some point, but I do not know him personally. Uh, what did you vote for the LEGO U Star Wars UCS fan vote? Um, Nebulon B. <laughs> I'm the Nebulon B dude, sorry. I, I know the gunship one, but I was um, I was the voice for Nebulon B. I, I, I dreamed about a Nebulon B being a UCS set for for years. Like, if you remember my Brick Vault days, I mentioned that a lot on the streams and like whatever, like questions like, what set from Star Wars would you like to see? I was like, Nebulon B, the mythical frigate, the frigate, please make it happen. And when I saw it, it's a possibility, like, that was a no-brainer, a vote for me. I think LEGO made a few good gunships, you know, and there was like, this big one as well. LEGO never made Nebulon B, so that was my, my main um, line of thought. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just gonna focus here for a second. Jesus, it's so hard. Streaming and talking and building a set. I forgot how hard it is. Yeah. It looks really good. Except for the $80 General Grievous Fighter. Yep. Okay, I'm build that. What time is it? We stream for like what? 41 minutes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna sit here, of course, until I finish the set. Don't you worry. I'm gonna finish this set on the stream tonight. Do a little look at how I feel about this set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna of course make a full-on review about it. So stay tuned for a video of that. <laughs> what did you guys buy lately? What was your latest Lego purchase? I, I, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. This was, this was my my first lego purchase in a long time a lot of these sets i've been working on um were sent through beyond the brick as a review sets so gladly i was given a few sets for free um and that was really nice but this is like i paid full price for this one so i'm happy like i, I saw it and I, I said like i gotta get it it's so nice and i want to build it for you
by the way, um, also like when it comes to sets, I do have some sets marked for downsizing my collection that I really don't have space for. Some of the technique sets that I reviewed that I really don't have a way to keep or I'm very attracted, like attached to them. So I might be selling some sets for very good prices, like, you know, build ones reviewed and sitting on the shelf. So uh, I think in the description or in my videos, there's a link to my eBay account. Uh, I'm gonna probably let everybody know, like if anybody wants to like buy some decent sets for like good starting price, I, I won't be like trying to make money off them or anything. Um, but I will just like trying to downsize it and maybe, you know, get a kind of like a return budget for this channel. So just a heads up that this will be happening. So brand new, basically once the once built sets for parts, probably we're gonna start at like half the price of some or something. Um, from a for auction standpoint. Okay. Let's see where we at. I think we're building the re the rear with the engine. Yeah, the re the tail lights. Okay. And I hope I didn't mess anything up. <laughs> when you stream and you kind of like try to talk and build, there's so much room for errors. Oh, look at that music. Like perfect for the Fiat. It's like a Italian hop, hop music, like hop, pop music. I feel like the UCS Nebulon B will come out, uh, the gunship will come out first. That's probably what's gonna happen. Most likely. I mean, there's there's a reason they, they even consider the Nebulon B. They know people want it. They know it's a set they never made. They know. Oh, they know. I think that vote, basically what it gave to LEGO, was just the order of how they should plan out the next UCS lineup, right? So, okay, people want the gunship, cool, let's make the gunship. And then, oh, people really like the Nebulon B as well, let's make the Nebulon B next time. And like, oh, like, people also wanted Bomber, the Thai Bomber, at some point, so that's gonna be the next set. So I guess I just like told them, like, which is the most best thing we can do right now. And then the next sets will just be next, you know? Unless, you know, the bomber got like really small amount of votes or something, so... Oh, that is a nice connection, see? So, they made kind of like a extra support point here. Really nice. I liked it. Okay, I think we're going... Further, let's see... Hmm. Hmm. It starts to look really nice. Okay, and I think I'm building parts of the engine now. Okay, so let's focus. It's like a lot of small pieces. How do you guys chilling right now? Good? The stream is good? Everything good? Perfect? Everything works? I guess? Hopefully? Yay! Unless my wife turns on Netflix right now or something and I'm gonna lose connection or something. But I think we're good. I have Spectrum internet and like sometimes I, I swear they cut my speed. I think two days ago, I hope it won't happen this time because I'm streaming, it's still green. But two days ago I was like trying to upload a video and I had like 100 kilobits upload for like three hours. I was like, thanks guys, it's great. What do I pay for again? The last big set I picked up was the 89 Batmobile. The thing took me like three days to put it together. Oh dude. I was eyeing this set in the Lego store tonight when I was picking this guy. I was like, mm. but it's like what, 250? <laughs> that is beautiful. I, I don't think I, I, I even saw it before hands on. Man, that's a set. It's so cool. It's mo it looks like a mock almost. Um, cool. Let's see where we at. Okay. This one... It's cool because you guys kind of see the manual as well. Nice. Good shot, Mike. <laughs> Evening, Mike. What's up, Brick Frog? This set is the first large-scale car but, uh, that I'm seriously considering buying. Love the color. Yeah, dude, like, the color is very unique. Like, even, like, you know, as I mentioned before, my friend at the Lego store, the supervisor there that I worked with, um, she's like, 
Did they make like a mistake? I never seen that color and like I told her that it's like the cool yellow that very that is kind of rare in Lego. And now they made it like a full on in a set. So yeah. It's a good color. I like it too. I'm super glad they didn't go with the full on yellow. It just looks better that way. Did you purchase the Lego Black Widow set? No. Is it out yet? That helicopter thingy? No, I didn't get it. My budget is kind of limited right now. <laughs> so... Uh, I can't buy many sets right now. Um, if you want to support me on all the donations and stuff, yeah, go for it. But... <laughs> um, I gotta have to conserve my budget a bit right now, so... Um, I don't buy everything right now. So... I hope to buy more sets later on. But I think once this channel gets up and running again, um, I kind of want to still do the news videos. I like, I just like talking about new stuff in LEGO. It's just exciting for me. Um, so I think that's going to happen, but I'm also going to do sometimes live streams. Sometimes, you know, we're going to talk about it in a video. I really want to ask you guys what you guys want to see in this channel. Cause I was thinking about getting back to this like mock showcase kind of thing. Cause I, I keep eyeing mocks every week still. It's my habit right now. I've been doing this for years. Uh, you know, since Brick Vault and I, I just keep doing it and I think like, yeah, I, I still love seeing people's creations so I might as well think about getting back with sort of a like mock talk that's a good name actually, mock talk yeah um, videos where I showcase what people do but I also kind of want to get back to um, what I really loved back in my Brick Vault days that we kind of didn't ever expand or follow up uh, fan mocks, right? Remember? Um, when people would send us stuff and we would just go through the emails and like showcase people's builds. I don't know, they cut it off. Like, it was my decision. They cut it off from the lineup and we never did those videos again. But, you know, it's my channel now, so I might as well um, do fan mocks. Um, things like that. So I kind of want to do it. I love what people send over and I was super excited to see what people build and it was just great. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see. First, I need to make sure I have time for everything. Sometimes it's very tough. Okay, this one goes here. Yeah, 250, the Batmobile. I knew it was coming and I was able to save up before it hit the shelf. The way they pulled off the unique sign of the Batmobile is pretty amazing. It's a great set. It's a great set. Brickworld has a, has a custom. A Batmobile, um, and I, 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 I've seen it, you know, close up and everything, and I still think the set is amazing. The set is just stunningly awesome, uh, amazing. Huh. It's nice that still uh, 16 people are watching, but I wonder. I hope like more people would join. Maybe my stream is not like 40. Um, it's public, right? But it might not maybe super popular. Whoopsie! 15 viewers. Would I be building the set in this one live stream? Yeah, we're gonna finish today. Don't worry. I'm gonna sit here until I finish. It's not a big set. It's like only, you know, just below 1000 pieces. So yeah, I have time tonight. Thanks to my lovely wife who, who took care of the kids, so I can sit here and build and chill with you guys, which is nice. I think that's the way it goes. So, okay, what we have is a little... Is that gonna focus? No. Can I focus? Oh, there you go. So it's a kind of an engine compartment. I, I'm 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 ma manual focus now, so please forgive me. Okay. I think this is in focus now, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. I really enjoyed your fan mock videos. I'd like to see some of those videos from you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like a lot of people mentioned it to me that it was kind of cool to, to showcase, and I don't know why we ever scrapped it. Like, 
I, I, I wasn't pulling the strings though, you know, most of the time. So... Yeah, there are things I would like to come back to. So, yeah, that's one of the things, so... Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Let's, please let me get back to this whole editing and YouTubing thingy. <laughs> um, on top of my job. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's kind of a challenge, but I, I really wanna, you know, keep going. Kind of like those few videos I posted for now are like practice videos, so I, I know where I'm at. Alright, engine. There's another hose there. You can see I just installed a hose. Um, I'm not a mechanic, so I won't call professional names for the co components of this little engine. I don't even remember what type of engine it is. It's very small. So... Let's go oh, on top of that. Okay, cool. Nice! I like the detailing here. Check it out. It's like a little detailing. Okay. Okay, what we're doing right now. Do I know Solid Brick Studios? Yeah, I watch him. I know I know what he's doing. Pretty cool guy. I don't know him personally though. Um, Mandalore Mock. I, I I mean I watch his videos, but I don't think I, I watched all of them. I I know what he's up to. Um, but not not in the full detail. Saving up for another set, but I don't know whether to get the Bugatti Chiron, the Downtown Diner, or, or the Volkswagen. Which one do you think will retire the soonest? Uh, or the Volkswagen. Oh yeah, like that set was on the shelves for a while now. Um, I don't... Th maybe it's even retired right now. Dude, like I don't really know. I mean the Chiron, I, I don't. I think it's still gonna be for a while. I mean the next technique is like what a Lamborghini, um, most likely. I think they kind of teased it, so that may push out the Chiron from the market. Um, but that's still a few months out. And the Downtown Diner just came out, you know, last year, so. Yeah, I think the T1 will be the first to go. This would make a great display set. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a great display set, actually. Yeah, I mentioned that in the yesterday's uh, news video. That I think this set will be just phenomenal on a, on, a, on a display. Okay, we need two two of these. So many small yellow parts. Oh my god. So many. So many small yellow parts. I do have the Chiron in the box too. <laughs> just, just reminded me that I have the Bugatti in the box. Don't think I'm ever gonna build it, honestly. I don't know. There's just like I have no space for this place at this point, at all. If I finally move to a bigger house, <laughs> then I can at least build more sets and keep them. But for now, it's it's pretty hard. With two kids and a lot of toys everywhere, owning a collection of Lego is not, not ideal. Okay. Kind of like pick and choose my sets nowadays. Righto. 12 viewers, nice. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Appreciate ya. Just don't think this Sunday evening is the best time to stream because people would just rather go to sleep than watch a Lego, a guy build Lego. Nice. 13 viewers. Hey, somebody joined. Welcome. 
cool. Oh, it's kind of hot with all those lights. Maybe I should kick the fan on. Okay, where are we at? Nice. Okay, so that's so far what we have. You can see it's pretty cute. It's not gonna be much bigger than this. Okay. I'm wondering if I should make this stream public after I finish or just make a review video. Probably a review video would be better. Overall. Can't go wrong with the downtown diner. Yeah, it's a great modular. I liked it. I think the bookstore was even nicer, but the diner was solid. this chill music with Sunday chill off music it's about 9 p.m. now in California my time 9 p.m. everybody 9 10 kind of <sighs> okay. I think we're almost there oops sorry with that. Everybody fell asleep. <laughs> I know, guys. Work day tomorrow. I feel ya. Yeah. I'm gonna sit here until I finish, but not much longer than that. Gotta get some sleep, too. Hey, Mike. Being as you're from the Bay... No, I I'm not from the Bay Area. I'm from San Diego. I'm in Southern California. So, have you seen the film The Last Black Man? In S no, 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 I did not. I'm in San Diego. Lived here for like five years now. Nice. Guys, look at how they made that angle here. It's, see, it's like a... Uh, there is like a hinge here and this end has those rounded 1x2s, right? So it kind of, it's a bit overexposed, but, um, but yeah, they made like the angle that way. So it's kind of interesting to see. Nice, right? Cool. I think my lights are a bit stronger than I thought. Okay. Very nice. Popped off, sorry. Okay, I think that's gonna be... Yeah, it looks pretty decent, okay. Uh, other side, nice. Yeah, discovering some cool techniques. Where's the... Um, need a one by three. Did I use it somewhere by accident? Ah. Oh my god, I'm missing the one by three. No, I can't miss a brick now. Did I use it by accident somewhere? Oh my god, I need a one by three. Where is it? Please show up. One by fours. Guys, am I blind? Where did the brick go? I need a yellow 1x3. Did I use it by accident somewhere? Let's see. No. This is weird. Are we blind? No, seriously, do you guys see a 1x3 in yellow on the table? Because I'm, I'm blind, I don't see it. 
Did it fall over somewhere? On the back or something? No. My god, am I blind? I hate when this happens. No, it's only the box. Huh. Interesting. Did I use like one too many somewhere? No, let's let's see real quick. So there's one here. And one there. Huh. Am I missing a brick? Please don't. Okay, we need that four on this uh, on those hinges, so four bricks went there, that's not a mistake. Oh my god, I think we got a donation. I think there's a donation to support me <laughs> looking for that brick. Oh my god, it's gonna show up on the screen, maybe. <gasps> 499 from Owen. Tomlinson, thank you, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much for that kind donation. And I really wanna, I really gotta find that brick, guys, because I won't continue without it. It's crazy. Okay, so we need. Okay, so I used four here. That's fine. <gasps> oh, okay. Maybe I think I, 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 I may have used one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just used one here by accident. Sorry. Yeah. Woo! I think that was one too many. It was it was just not flushed fully. Sorry. I think I figured it out. So there's three bricks on this side. Yeah, it should match right now. Yes. Sorry, I was I was mistaken. Okay, cool. So we got that brick I needed. And I used one by accident. Thank you kindly for that donation. I appreciate it. Great support from you. Keep it up. I like this guy just doing the pumping, you know. <laughs> Keep it up. I will, thanks. Nice build technique, right? There is always something in those creator cars for sure. There is always something. <laughs> I, I thought like more people would watch this set with me tonight. I thought it was a fresh set and people would just join and vlog and watch. But I guess everybody needs to sleep. <laughs> I think I mentioned before that streaming on a Sunday night is a terrible idea. But, but, still a cool set. So I couldn't wait. Okay. Especially like right now that the, um, the East Coast is asleep. It's like what, three hours ahead? <laughs> Watching Mike build, the good times are back again. Carriage of no return, welcome. <laughs> you know, it's not that I can't stream. Like, I got everything I need to stream. I got cameras and laptops and things. I can stream, oh, for sure. The thing is that I'm a family man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, weekdays or weeknights or even weekends, it's kind of hard to find time to sit on a Lego set and just chill with everybody. Which I love doing, by the way, but if I didn't have other commitments at night, then it would be so much easier. But this is a special night because this had just came out. So I would say I would love to stream more, but I can't promise that. Okay, let's see. I think we're good. All right, finally. Whew, I was scared that I lost a piece. But we're good, I didn't lose a piece. There we go. Okay, almost there. Through bag number one, that is. Let's see, I'm gonna okay, close this one off. Perfect. Okay, let's move it slightly here so I see more. Okay. okay, so I think the most challenging part with the back of the vehicle is done. I mean, it's still there, but there's a lot of small pieces here, so it's kind of weird. 
Harriet, did you watch our streams back in the Brick Vault days? That was a long time ago, huh? It was weird, you know? That Brick Vault that we... Um, we streamed and then we stopped and then... I wanted to stream again, but they didn't want to... It, it was kind of a back and forth. I wonder what new pieces are now available in the new yellow color. I don't think that's a... Is that a new new color? I, I think that color was present before. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I think I've seen that color before. Like, please correct me. But... But if not, then all the pieces, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, maybe we haven't seen those little slopes, like one by two slopes in that color before, maybe? Um, not, not, not necessarily sure. Usually brick set has a pretty good breakdown of anything new that LEGO shows up with, be it color or bricks, so... Probably if you go to brickset.com and search up the set and like break it down and see what pieces it has and things, I think they should kind of tell you what's new. I think Brickset also does like periodic updates on the um, LEGO Brick catalog with new new molds or new pieces. I think they do like a quarterly or something update anytime, uh, you know, new stuff shows up. Okay, I just want to... Oh, that is the weird thing. Okay. Gotta go. Good luck building the set. Thanks, Pete. Nice to having ni nice having you here. Appreciate it for coming. Have a good night if you what whatever time is at your place or a good day or <laughs> whatever you're up to. Have a good one. Oh, I like this truck. I think it's um, OI. Oop. From Epidemic Sound. Oh my god, I kicked, I kicked a piece. Sorry. I am slightly tired, but I'm good. <laughs> Got it, Brick Frog. Yeah, that's what I figured. Check it out so you can see what's new. Okay. Twink. Very nice. Okay, moving on. No stickers yet, by the way. Not a single sticker used yet. Just building the back of the car for now. Oh, we're moving towards the interior, okay. So we gotta go with the jumpers here. More jumpers. Okay. Lining up for the um, seats and the transmission. I think that's what it go what's, what's gonna be. Okay, more um, blue pieces. Let's see. Here, go, go. I, <laughs> I think anytime you get you, anybody watches a, a guy building Lego, it's like I do sometimes. Like I watch Brickways or other Lego tubers building sometimes. I think I'm even a moderator on Brickways channel. I think. Um, and sometimes I join his streams, but it's like the type of watching a stream is not like watching a stream, but more like just chilling in the background, listening to you know the sound of Lego bricks and the little chat chatter. I think that's how you usually enjoy people building Lego streams. So not much activity in the chat, I would say. Okay. Whew. Man, this first bag is a lot of pieces. Like, holy moly. I wasn't prepared for that. Even though it's a small set, it seems 
challenging in terms of time consuming. I think it's gonna be the shifter. And why why does it have two handbrakes? Maybe that's just like uh, decoration. I don't know. Or maybe those are oh those maybe seat controls. Interesting. That's the shifter. Okay. According to Bricks, at 40 new pieces in that color. Interesting. Nice. Well, yeah, I mean, that that only says that this color was not really used, you know, um, fully, because it wasn't it's more like a unique color for now. But now it became more mainstream because a full set, isn't it? Right? Okay, sorry, my I got reflections of the manuals, I don't see. Okay, this... Okay. Yeah, interior starts to look nicely. Very nice. Okay, this goes here, and one more one by three is two in the front. Got it. Okay, cool. Ooh, uh, did I use everything I needed? Okay. That's what I enjoy too the chatter and the sound of bricks. Maybe I should just get my microphone like lower to be like closer to the bricks or something but it's gonna cover my face in a weird way okay i guess but you can also hear my laptop struggling to keep the stream up <laughs> it's pretty loud the funny thing is i do have a, a newer laptop um my work laptop and it's, it's just like a brand new hp spectre which is like super nice and fast but it doesn't have all the USB and HDMI ports I need right now to have a second screen and my camera input and everything so I wasn't able to use that for the stream but it's a super nice laptop I use it for uh, mobile editing like it's cool because my company is super chill so I have a big uh, you know 27 inch iMac with a massive 27 inch screen on next to it for my editing at work but I do have that laptop so if I feel like to chill out a bit more, I take my files, take my laptop, go to, uh, to the couch in the company lounge and just edit there sometimes. So we're super nice about this. I like my company. I like my work now. Pretty cool team I have too. So, you know, things been good. Things have been good lately when it comes to my creative work. It's called SportRx if anybody wants to check it out. They have a YouTube channel. We, we basically, I'm the team that runs Part of the thing that runs the YouTube channel, Sport RX. Check it out. A lot of the videos there you can see are were edited by me lately. Some cool vlogs I made for them. They they go places and do cool trips. So I do vlogs, um, edit vlogs for them. So if you wanna see my vloggy style that you liked, I hope you can check it out. Sport RX on YouTube. It's a prescription eyewear company. Yeah, as I said, my job my job is doing very nicely. It's I like it. It's a, it's a very cool place. Super chill people. Very cool work we do. A lot of videos. So I do what I use. I'm good at you know editing and um, uh, making videos. We work with super nice cameras, Sony's um, super nice gear. I, I I get to use. Um, it's nice. I really like it. It's like this type of job when. Um, Oops, sorry. We need to fix that. It's the type of job I I enjoy going to. You know, I, I mean, my previous job also was the one that I enjoyed going to with all the bricks. But this one is, is no, I thought it would be different, but it's it's really nice because of the people, of the setting, of the um, support. It's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I like I like working there, so I, I don't dread Mondays anymore. You know, 
I don't think I ever dreaded Mondays like that at, at all, most of the time. Ever since I moved to the US, I, I did stuff that I enjoyed, so... And that way I became a full-time video editor. And learned new stuff as I, go, as I went. That's my entire story. Being in the US. Ooh, five years now, wow. Just hit five years at the end of 2019. Believe it or not, time flies. Alright guys, jeez, that bag. Oh wow, we actually finished bag number one. <laughs> Look at the amount of pieces I have on the table. I thought there was still something there, but actually those are all spares. Right? One thing to check if you're good is to make sure that if you have spares on the table, that each one of them is just a single piece. If you have two, then you missed something. But yeah, so far I think all of them are unique. So, spares from bag number one. Okay, I'm gonna just move it. It's good I enjoy going to work, yeah? I recommend it to everybody. Do what you like. And do what you enjoy doing. That you're, you're good at and you enjoy doing. Okay, people. Bag numero dos. How do you say two in Italian? How do you say two in Italian? Okay. I thought I would know, but I don't. I know German, a bit of Spanish, I know English and Polish. And Russian. Just a bit. So English too, right? Polish dwa. Mex uh, Spanish, Mexican, dos. German, zwei. Russian, dwa. Adzin, dwa, tri. Same in Polish, dwa in Poland, in Polish, dwa, dwa, <laughs> in Russian. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Okay, cool. Woo, more pieces, very nice. We've been going for an hour and 19 minutes. Oh, cool, it's kind of long, but we're good. Okay, let's keep going. Thanks one, one more time for the donation, Owen, if you're still watching. Appreciate it, it's my first donation since, wow, I, I don't know, October last year? Because I didn't stream at all. <laughs> so that feels great that somebody wants to support me in what I do. Thank you. Just bought me a Starbucks coffee. <laughs> no, seriously, like my, my one of my resolutions lately was not to buy so much Starbucks coffee. Like, I'm terrible at this. I mean... It's not bad now, like a few months ago I used to buy a lot, but now I'm saving more and more and more, so I make my own coffee at home, it's much better. Plus, my workplace has a really good coffee. They actually have their own roast that they order from a friendly company, and we grind every morning and we um, brew coffee every morning, and you come to work and there is fresh coffee for free, so I dig that. No more Starbucks $5 coffees. <laughs> I have to go, have to be up early uh, in the AM for work. I can't wait to get the set and stock to build the Falcon. Thank you, Owen. Have a good night. Sleep well. Enjoy your week. Um, have a, everything well at work. And I once again thank you for your kind donation. Get some sleep, man. I don't know what time it is at your place, but it's getting late at mine. I'm in California. So thank you for being here. Thank you for everything. Hope to see you again. I remember the first... Um, I remember the first I built after my Dark Ages. The first set, I guess. After the Dark Ages. Uh, and being worried by all the spurs. I thought I must have missed something. I know, right? But, you know, I've been... I've built a fair share of LEGO sets in my life. Probably in the hundreds now. Um... And I learned what exactly is a spare and what have you have to look for. I, I got pretty good at this. Always a spare is always a single one by one piece or just a specialty piece that's too that's small and easy to lose. It's always a spare then. Okay. More bodywork. This bodywork. Okie dokie. <laughs> music, like a California surfing music. 
Okay, we do need the... What do we need? We need those little um, grey bars. Anybody seen them? Two of those actually. Okay, first of all we're gonna just... One by six. those bars I need those lightsaber bars where you at yo where are you at I hope I didn't keep them in the bag should be in this small one but maybe they're just hiding somewhere hmm Seriously, gray bars like those guys. Um, better check. I don't see them. Sometimes they get stuck. Oh, maybe they rolled off the table? No? I think I have some spares somewhere just in case. But it's not a big deal. It's not yellow, fortunately. No. They gotta be here somewhere. I can probably add them later. Oh no, wait, they hold the seats. Oh snap. Did they roll off? No. Maybe they're hiding somewhere under the bricks. Is there an extra bag I didn't open? No. Oh my. Oh. I'm such a bad... <laughs> I'm such a bad builder, I swear I lost practice. Guys, we, we missed a bag. An entire bag of bricks. There we go. <sighs> I'm such a blind person, I swear. Okay, we got him. Good. Mike, I know it's old news, but that Mandalorian Razor Crest ship, eh? Oh yeah. Funny, funny enough, the unveiling of that ship triggered my return to YouTube. <laughs> I said like, oh, this, this is something I could talk about. And then I made a news video and it went from there. I was like, I'm, I'm returning. That's, a, that's, a, that's it. I'm coming back to YouTube. Um, so yeah, yeah, of course. It's a, I think it's a good set. Mandalorian was great as a show. I mean, you know, first season. Super nice. So... Definitely want to get that one at some point. Check if you're subscribed! Whoever's watching, check if you're subscribed! I need to get back in the subscriber <laughs> No, just kidding. Just watch the videos. I mean, not kidding, kidding, not kidding. You know, YouTubers kind of need subscribers in any capacity. Make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe. Subliminal message. Subscribe. Huh. Subscribe to my channel. Only if you enjoy my content, though. That's, that's one thing. Only if you enjoy my content. Uh, 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 um, what am I looking for? This guy. Okay, perfect. I think that's the roof section. <clears throat> I miss seeing you. Um, do the weekly Lego news. I was the highlight of my Saturday morning. Say B, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, it's it's still a hard topic for me what happened between me and Brick Vault, but I do miss that work. I do miss that setting. I do miss that 
Lego Studio, I do miss a lot of things. Like I, I, I would lie if I, if I say I don't. I miss that, but it wasn't my. It's now things happened, whatever. Um, I miss that setting. I, I miss that news videos. I had it, you know. I had my full time dedication to being uh, a Lego U YouTube filmmaker. Now I don't have that capacity, you know, as much as I would like to, I have a 9 to 5. I work for a different YouTube channel and as much as I I miss that, I just can't physically do it again, making it full time, um, for now. But yeah, I miss those videos a lot. That's why I'm making like kind of like a comeback with the news videos first, so anybody feeling that I kind of spammed a few videos on the last week please forgive me but that was my my practice run to get back to the game you know when you when you took a such a long break even being on camera feels hard it's difficult my god I need one more thing come on where are you at so I figured that you know make a few news videos that I like doing, still very much so, and that would, wouldn't take crazy time to make. And see how people feel about, you know, me watching, doing videos again. So I did that, and it worked. And I feel more happy now, because I, I get back to the game with how I, my workflow is, how I record, how I research. I missed that. Oh, believe me or not, I, I missed that. Okay, is that it? Nice. That's the couch. That's the real couch. So it it felt nice, and uh, thank you for letting me know that you still enjoy my content. <laughs> and you know, slowly but surely, I'm gonna be growing these channels uh, as I go. So I don't plan to to stop like that anytime soon again. You know, given my whatever resources I have and capacity to make videos, I will keep making them. Like, I did not give up. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I miss your top 10 mocks of the week videos, Mike. I know Brickworld still does them, but I miss your take. Thank you, Brickfrog. Appreciate it. I will, I will think about ways on how to get back to that game. If in showcasing mocks and things. Like, I did enjoy that a lot. So, I want to do that again. And I, I, I hope you guys like this uh, kind of like a newer format of, of the news videos that I made lately. You know, if you've seen my videos from the past week. This was... The production was simpler because as you may have noticed that I did record my me on the camera. And I did record um, my screen at the same time. So editing was a bit simpler like previously. We would, you know, when I was editing like news videos back in the day, I would just like record my voice and the intro and the outro, but also like put a lot of pictures in the videos manually, so it was taking a lot of time. So it was different, right? I, I With my time constraints and my, you know, I get back from work like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., you know, do family stuff, home stuff, and then I have sometimes time to do my stuff, which is YouTube. Um, so I had to find a way to make it simple in production, but also, you know, valuable for you. So there is a message in the showcase and the, the value of those news is, is all right. So I kind of found that way. So I hope you guys enjoy this kind of like a simplified format. But I still hope it's, 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 it feels like a quality content. Right? I hope. Really hope. I don't watch Brick Vault at all really anymore. I don't know the story of what happened, but royalty means a lot to me. Huh. Thanks, Whiskey. Well, things happen. I mean... They let me go, and then we kind of like quarreled a bit about me making videos, you know, without them, and it was, it ended up with us parting ways later on in not very friendly fashion. So that's 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 the main story right now. I mean, I I don't really talk to them to be frank, and I'm makes me sad, but. I tried to make things up and reconcile and it didn't work, it didn't work. So I'm over it now. Well, sometimes you gotta move on. 
Yeah, so we gotta move on. I know they opened the studio and everything and I, I know I am I'm, I'm happy for them. I worked on the studio too. A lot of the displays that are in the studio are have my hand in them in one way or another. So it kind of feels very familiar and you know. And um, but I, I just can't really visit, to be frank. Um, yeah. But I, I wish them the best. I think I'm gonna head out. It's late for me on the East Coast. I'm glad you're back to uploading again. Thanks, Embricks. You know, it's slow start again. I, I, I Of course, I'm, I'm not expecting for people to like flock in and watch my videos en mass <laughs> in millions. Millions, you know? So... I know it's it's gonna take time for me to get back and like return to people's feeds on YouTube. I, I, I get that. Hey! Oh! Hi Zabi! Thank you! Uh, 20 Canadian dollars? Keep doing great things! My pleasure. It's all for you. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it very very much. Thanks for being here. You're awesome dude. I promise you uh, that news game I'm, you know, I'm doing with uh, news videos, it's, it's not stopping, so I don't think I'm going to be posting necessarily on Saturdays like I used to in, on Brickwall. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to post whenever I can. I try to like reserve the weekends as much as I can for my family, so, you know, there will be times where I post on the weekend or not, but, you know, whatever I can do, I hope you'll be happy. So thank you for the donation and I appreciate your um, continuous support. <laughs> awesome, thanks. Oh my god, I should have put them first. Uh, okay, so let me just show you. So this is a really cool design. So basically I'm building a seat, right? And I, oh, I should have made two of them at once. But... Um, yeah. So this, I'm not sure you can see. Let me see. Okay. Focus, focus, where is the focus thing? Oh, there, there is the, okay, I'm a manual focus once more. So this is the, um, those little arms are, look at the way they're connected. Through those like modified 2x2s and they're gonna hold the, the seat. So it's a very, very weird connection, right? Very, very interesting, like, it's like a seat has little hands. Almost. Okay. Come on, focus. Okay. I mean, focus now. Perfect. And I should have made two of these, so let's do another one. I, I didn't notice the times two sign. Thank you for that. Amazing. Donation. Appreciate it. Every bit of support, guys. It's so nice to receive. So happy that people keep supporting me. Thank you. Um, one more of those corner pieces, please. There we go. But also, guys, honestly, if you wanna you know keep seeing my stuff, even if there is sometimes you know things are slower on my channel, I'm still with Beyond the Brick, so. Um, I would advertise here if I can. Um, last time, you know, I was invited to the LEGO Masters set. So I did, uh, I think, two videos from the LEGO Masters set, a, a kind of like a vlog behind the scenes from the actual set. I visited the set on the actual last day of the production of the finale of LEGO Masters. I don't know the outcome. It was super confidential. And I gotta actually I gotta rewatch like watch the, I missed two two episodes of Lego Masters. My friend Boone Langston is you know actually there. Um, so check it out. It's on Beyond the Brick. If you type Lego Masters Beyond the Brick, it's gonna show up. You will see me um, seeing the Lego Masters set. It was an amazing experience. I really enjoyed it. And also I visited the Nathan Sawaya's studio 
Nathan Sawaya is a creative support person for the LEGO Masters and he's actually behind the scenes a lot with designing challenges and the build and um, builds for the you know for the challenges and things like that so he's, he's a lot he's done a lot of work behind the scenes so we did a, a cool little media event with Beyond the Brick and that was one of my last uh, one of the few things I did for them I did the full coverage of the BrickCon my reviews are on Beyond, Beyond the Brick so check those out um, in all capacity, watching them supports me as well. Because they grow, everybody's happy, you know. Um, so yeah, I did quite a few bits of content for them as well. And it's not stopping. Uh, we're gonna be back with Brick World Chicago this year. We're gonna be back with other things. Um, they just keep posting amazing content. So I'm part of this amazing group of uh, Lego creators. But beyond the brick. So go for that. Big shout out to my friends at Beyond the Brick. Super nice people. Can't wait for June when we go to a brick world. Oh my god. Okay. What did I do? Okay, we got both seats, I believe. And what I did forget is to um, the back backbone of the seat is a little um, there you go support mechanism. I stopped watching too. Started to grade on my nerves on how business as usual. They approach the situation. I wonder how much time I put into the channel. Yeah, that's basically what happened. You know. Um, it was more business is important for them. I get that, and I, I really wanted to um, to collab more and do things together after I left, after they let me go. But it didn't work out, and they were kind of weird about it. So, long story short, I wish them the best, but they are very much focused on other things unfortunately i mean for them but for me unfortunately for me <laughs> yeah okay installing the seats okay oops <laughs> i pushed too hard and i snapped the seats off wait we'll just re reconnect it That's weird. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do it again. Like once you miss, once you snap it in the wrong way, it's kind of weird to reattach. Okay, let's do it again. Where's that bar? Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, cool. So the seats are nicely retractable, and I, I like how they open with this like um, old Fiat fashion. You know, when there's only one set of doors, so you have to enter the vehicle by squeezing behind the seat, and then you close it. It's actually very, very um, accurate. You've got personality, my <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Um, you know, I'm just myself. Um, what I... Okay, I gotta push them in. Okay, got it. Um, you know, I'm myself in my videos. I... When I enjoy stuff, I enjoy stuff. When I'm sad in the video, I can descend in the video. It's me, you know? Whatever. Um, maybe that kills my professionalism a bit. Maybe. But, I don't know. Maybe I didn't fit. Maybe, maybe they... I don't know. Maybe they didn't like me secretly. I don't know. I thought we were friends, but... I don't know, man. Maybe not. Maybe it's all... It's all just an illusion. <laughs> I 
Nice! I that's a, one of the nicest things somebody said to me that I do have personality. Interesting. <laughs> well, I guess just being myself is personality, so that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for this late night deep conversation about things and stuff. <laughs> no, I, I do appreciate your support. Okay, where are we at? So many pieces. Okay, this set is bigger than I thought. But hey, it's it's very nice to um, it's very chill to build. I like this this technique and a lot of yellow though, but not a big deal. I mean, it looks great. Just your eyes get tired of it. Cool. Okay, uh, we're at page ninety-three. Like, we're almost there, like, I, I look, the manual is just what's left, it's like maybe one third or less. Okay. Very cool. Um, what I'm looking for... This way, okay. Yeah, man! Appreciate it, whiskey. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, where I'm at. I forgot I have this can of water next to me. I might crack it open and have something to drink real, real fast. Okay. Um, are we blind? Where is the brick? Where is that brick I need? I need that little... Uh, there it is. No, that's not the one. Ah! Okay, we need uh, inverted. Come on! Come on, what it is? There it is, got it. Hey, Australian bricks! Just joining the stream! The yellow isn't as bright as I thought. Exactly, it's it's a cool yellow, how they call it. It's the cooled down yellow. So, it's very nice to the eye, you know? It's very like... I, I know my camera, my lights right now, I'm making it, making it, in my opinion, way overexposed. I'm sorry for that. I might, might need to turn down the slides a bit, or maybe the ISO is a bit too high, but it's, believe me, it's brighter on your screen than it is in real life. I think I'm just a bit too much exposure here. But it's, 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 it's even less bright than you see. Australia just woke up, I guess. <laughs> That's why. Or mates. Good day. Good day, mate. <laughs> I'm terrible at the accents, I'm sorry. G'day, g'day. I tried Italian, I tried Italian, but I can't really nail it. Mm, this Fiat is Italian. Um, where are we okay. Looks like a sun bleached yellow to me. You know what, that's a good description actually. Yeah, it's like a, like a washed out yellow, kinda. Like. When you take a, a, a yellow Lego brick and leave it in the sun for like two weeks. I don't know. Maybe that's what it's gonna look like. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, we got this guy. And now the right side. Or the left side, whichever way you're looking at it. It will be interesting to see where we all from. I'm UK. Where are you watching from? Well, San Diego, California, everybody. This is San Diego here. So called. Um, Southern California. I so much like this place. Okay. Um, the downside of having so many yellow bricks is that your eyes get a bit tired, no matter what, and sometimes I just don't see the bricks I want. Especially when there are so many small pieces around. So look at the amount of tiny little bits here I have. It's crazy. Kind of crazy. Wait. Okay. I just got um, two of the friends' restaurant sets for all those cool yellow pieces. Oh yeah, that's. I should have remembered that. 
friend sets do have a lot of that yellow, huh? Okay. Yep. Minnesota, Western Canada. It's 5 p.m. The 2nd March. Oh, all oh right. Yeah, Australia is like much further. Like I thought it was morning at your place. It's much further than that. Little tan on screen. I have like two screens I'm trying to compare because they're not calibrated. Yeah, like this screen like looks more like a washed out yellow. Like this screen looks more like sand. And this looks like... This screen is closer. So depending on your color settings, I guess. This camera has like a neutral color setting right now. It shouldn't be like too vibrant or too washed out. I think it's very neutral right now. It's a Lumix, so Panasonic has pretty decent color science. Um, but So I think it's kind of accurate. Just Yeah, I just noticed that my two screens are showing different... This microphone is like so much in the way. Different... Um, sorry guys, I'm just gonna move it just slightly. There we go. Okay, so it's a bit different um, for each screen, I guess. Okay. Cool. Off to bed now, take care Mike and keep building. Trent, hey, long time no see dude, nice seeing you. Trent McKenzie, man, I remember you back from the brick wall days. You were in a, I think you were in each of our streams, like so many times I've seen you. Such a long time viewer, thank you for being here, glad to have you. But yeah, take your, go to bed, take some sleep. <laughs> sleep is the most important thing, thank you for just stopping by. Thanks Trent. Trent was, I remember, I think he was watching um, us at Breakwall for years now, I don't know. I remember him being in every stream. Such a cool guy. How is your, how is your kid? I think we did celebrate uh, the birth together. Am I right? Uh, am I right? I think your baby was born when, and you told us on the stream. I remember that. If I'm correct, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm correct. I remember nice people. Um, okay, two of those, one by six. Okay. Oh, that's the dashboard. I we're building the dashboard, by the way, guys, for sure. Oh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, that music is a. Uh, it's a Polish hip hop. I'm gonna keep it on because I like it. <laughs> but you probably won't understand the word. I remember that piece of music. Um, I reached out to the band that plays it. Um, and they allowed me to use their music. So they're a Polish band. Like a, like a mini like grunge band. Oh, that's a good question. You think LEGO will be affected by COVID, the virus? You know what? It's a great question. I, I, I even thought of that today. Because I had this discussion like how the markets react and like what's happening with the virus. California is like, there are a few people infected, but like here in San Diego, there is not much of a panic. However, I did see today that we went to just the grocery store to buy some stuff and we tried to buy Purell, the disinfectant, just to have it in, in like my backpack and it was fully sold out. Like not a single bottle left in the entire store. So people are kind of freaking out. Um, but will Lego be affected? Um, does Lego has any manufacturing in China? I think they do, right? They do have a brick um, plant, like manufacturing plant in China, right? 
I think each company that does have any business to do with China, like either manufacturing or trade or sale or whatever it is, that company will be seeing some um, complications, you know. So my be or my not also in in you know in bad times when the markets are low, a little lesson of economy. If the markets are being scared or stuff, people tend not to buy luxurious items or just expensive items. Lego is still a luxurious toy or a collectible item. So the sales may decline just because people won't be spending money on like luxurious nice things, right? Because they will just save for food or just like be more scared to go out and buy stuff. It's a lot of factors to be determined, right? Um. <laughs> Trying to read the chat, but I'm kind of find the try to find the bricks as well. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm kind of change that song because it has some not so nice words in Polish <laughs> actually, but it's nice music. <laughs> All right, reading the chat now. Um, okay, but that's good. Okay, um, store at the Mall of Mike is a good place to stop by. Okay, live visiting Brickmania in downtown Minneapolis. Six year old is good, and two year old is being a two year old. Good memory, Mike. Yeah, Trent. I have. Uh, hey, we're super. We're super similar to what our kids are. My my older daughter is seven, and my younger daughter. I have two girls is two and uh, six months seven months two and six months so kind of similar yes seven year old is more like cool reasonable and you know and two year old is just a two year old crazy and breaking stuff all the time so <laughs> you get what i'm saying both dads right am i right am i right that dads dads power that that power together i feel you man have a good one <laughs> Ever since you left Brick Vault, the channel has gone down. The videos are so so and vlogs are definitely no build streams. Piotr, Siema, in Polish, because you're Polish. <laughs> uh, long time viewer, Dzięki Piotr. Um, I'm gonna answer in English just for the sake of everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, I watch them occasionally. I think they still put out some nice stuff, you know. Um, their store is nice. They keep adding extra nice builds. They open the studio for tours and things like that. So I feel, I feel great for them. I'm happy for them. You know, I'm not gonna hold the grief forever. Um, they they're gonna probably hold the grief against me, but I'm I I'm not I'm over holding the grief against it. Like I moved on, decided to do my own things. Whatever life goes on, right? I'm just sad the way. It turned out it's like we're not on really speaking terms so I can't really go and say hi in the studio even they opened it and things like that like I don't want to like put oil to the fire you know um, but yeah I mean they did change their content a bit they're still working hard on it I get it everybody tries to you know be the best of what they can do but yeah it's, it's different I, I feel I feel you it's, it's a bit different what they do now well, I guess I had personality in this. <laughs> I really enjoyed those vlogs, man. Brick vlogs, like I, just a few weeks ago, I kind of rewatched a lot all, all my brick vlogs in like a playlist fashion. Man, I did some fun videos. <laughs> I did some fun videos, guys. That was that was good times. It was like a good times reliving the past, you know, for me. It was like a like a healing to watch what I used to do. I'm gonna get back to it. I kind of want to do vlogs as well, but I don't really have time or content for vlogs, unfortunately, because my life doesn't really uh, resolve around Lego as much anymore. Because, um, you know, full-time job, things and stuff. 
What, what do I do now? Oh, I gotta flip it. Oh, I see. Okay. So, I don't really have a lot of time nowadays for just everything Lego. But, I still like doing vlogs. Wait, am I doing something wrong here? Okay, wait up. So maybe I want to come back to the vlogs in some sort of like a lifestyle vlog fashion. I don't know. Um, so maybe with this time we'll see some like random vlogs from me <laughs> because I still like doing them. Okay, wait. I, I gotta make sure I, I get this right. The um, dashboard of the car. Um, um, one sec, guys, because I'm missing a piece. I'm gonna get back to the chat in a second. I just need to find. What do I need to find? Oh, are we using a first sticker? Maybe. Okay, we may use a first sticker in a sec. Wait. Okay, I need this piece. No, not this one, the in inverted one. Okay, got it. Why am I done not seeing those pieces? What, what's going on? There you go, there's one more. There's, uh, I need one of more of those inverted ones. have missed something else but I'm not sure yet wait because there is like a little gap here that I couldn't find the reason it's there um, I think I made it correct wait hold on this is this way Okay, I made it this way. Oh, okay, there is something missing here. Hold on, I gotta get back one little step. Oh yeah, it just misses a one by one. I, I missed that step. Uh, okay, so it adds here. Perfect, yes, so that was my main concern. I just missed a little brick. Perfect, okay, now it's correct. Through that, um, check out Bukmania. I've lost thousands already. Just hoping for it evens out eventually. Oh, whiskey, what do you mean? Are you like investing in the stock market or? I'm sorry to hear that. Like, I hope you're gonna recover. Yeah, it's hitting everybody in some way or another. Yeah, I, it's gonna it's gonna blow over like in a few months. I think it's not as crazy as people seem or media tell us to be. I think it's gonna be just like any other epidemic. It's not. We're not in a zombie apocalypse, guys. Don't worry, it's fine. Um, to manufacturing plants I tend to supply warehouses though they only tend to service the Asian markets yeah trend so I think it's gonna mostly hit like Chinese markets for Lego yeah you're the man Mike thanks infamous um, Shema Shema once more Piotr somebody's calling me oh, I still oh, never mind um, we appreciate the time you're giving us by posting videos and live streams thanks AB I'm trying my best with my limited time <laughs> nowadays you're clearly the bigger man. Thanks, Courage. Um, I hope... I don't know, like... I don't want to, like... Position myself as better or worse or whatever. It's just, you know, I accepted how it turned out. I accepted. I tried to reconcile. It didn't work. M my life goes on. That's it. Um, yeah. Okay. First sticker, I think, of the day. Of the night. Okay. That is, that is completed, so little um, dashboard okay this goes this way okay cool nice fits just fine perfect 
We appreciate the time you were giving. Oh, I read that one. Thank you, ZB. Uh, Mag, do you think we will cure the vaccine? You know what, Arman? Yes. Or, I, I mean, pretty much, yeah. A company, a company called um, Innovio Pharmaceuticals or something around that name. A, a company like three miles from my apartment in Sorrento Valley, San Diego has a vaccine. They do. They they developed a vaccine. It's just in the testing phase. Apart from that, there are like 20 different labs in the world having uh, working on the vaccine right now. They do have the code for the virus. They have the code for the vaccine, the DNA code. They have it. I mean, it's there already. It's just in the testing phase. So it's gonna take a few good months to test it and go into mass production. So that's the biggest concern. But the vaccine itself exists. Check it out, like search San Diego lab COVID-19 vaccine. It will show up in Google. Like it's the guys are right next to um, where I live. Um, and they also developed the Zika virus vaccine a few, few, you know, some time ago. So yeah, it's there. That I, I, I'm not worried if it's there or not. It's just a matter of time that we're going to actually get a functioning vaccine. So yeah, to ease off your concerns, that has already happened. And it's in the testing phase. So yeah. Yo, what up? Ben Ren, welcome. Um, you watching your boy Boon on LEGO Masters? Of course. I I have to apologize to Boon because I missed... What's up with the music? Oh, it stopped suddenly. That's weird. Let's get another track. Um, I I missed the last two episodes. I have to I have to catch up. Please don't spoil it for me. No, I have to catch up on the last two episodes. Okay, now it's shining through, so I gotta be careful here. I don't see the manual. Okay, so controls for the steering wheel, I believe. Very nice. I'm off to shower the summer day. Bye, Mike. Bye, all. It was good to be here. Thanks, Courage. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. Appreciate you. Nice people coming and going, but I, I'm glad that a lot of. Um, Previous viewers are coming back. So nice. Okay. So this one can I can I can I this one has a little fiat logo, it's a print. Huh? Very cool. Little one by one tile. Oh, out of focus, out of focus. Please come back. Please come back. Okay, sorry guys. I'm on a manual focus for a reason. I don't want the focus to dance on me. Basically. Oops. Okay. Oh, the steering wheel even has like telescopic um, control. Like tilting. That is so nice. Wow, really cool. Very nice. Okay, let's keep going. What's my job now? Um, full time? Um, I'm still a video editor. I work in a bigger company uh, as a video editor with a team of creatives. So basically, after Brick Vault, I continued my expert, my, my skill of video editing uh, in a professional fashion. So it's called Sport RX, and um, it's a nice company. We do prescription eyewear. Um, there's a YouTube channel called Sport RX. You can find it. A lot of the videos you'll see there, a lot of the eyewear reviews, uh, all the vlogs for the last from the last year and this year. Um, all the vlogs or lifestyle videos were edited by me and a lot of reviews too. I'm like, I'm, we have three video editors uh, with me, like three, me plus two video editors, there's a producer, 
and another producer and uh, we're gonna have another filmmaker it's like a team of five now it's gonna be six people I think soon and I'm the editor responsible for vloggy videos because that's how I kind of get hired believe it or not I got hired because they really liked my my brick vlogs <laughs> that's true um, they liked my style of editing vloggy videos and I shot some of my channel videos and things like that and they said like yeah you're good and now that I work with them I'm responsible for a lot of the vloggy videos because they like my style so that's cool um, I'm really happy with that um, so yeah if you want to see my work go to the channel and check it out so yeah video editing still doing this full time and learning thing or two as well um, because you know they're more skilled than I am even so and uh, I get to use like nice cameras and you know we get nice stuff yeah so I'm happy with my work um I wish I could stay but I got school in the morning and it's 11 p.m. Yeah, Jad, thanks for having you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I'm I'm glad having you. Well, that's a good, that's a good sentence. And um, have fun at school. Take it easy, man. Thanks for being here. Mike, do you play computer games by any chance? Oh, of course, dude. Yes. Not as not as 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 much as as I used to. I do have a PlayStation 4. I play PlayStation um, I just play through like on my spare time. I play through GTA 5 now. I mean, I used, I, I finished the game like years ago on PS3, and now I have a PS4 version of GTA 5. So I play that. Um, on my computer, I play. Uh, what do I play? I don't play much on the computer right now. I edit mostly, but I, I played a little game called Nuclear Throne. Which is like a roguelike shooter. It's funny. I like it. Play this uh, one a bit. I play a lot of strategy games. I like Company of Heroes. I like Warcraft. I like. I watch streamers like Grabby from Warcraft 3. You know. I'm an old school type of guy. I like Blizzard games. So I play that stuff. Którą masz godzinę? W Polsce jest 7.20. Hey, it's a Polish viewer, Mateusz. Welcome, Siema. He asked me what time is it. Right now, my friend, I'm gonna answer in English for everybody's sake. California, 10.20 p.m. 10.20 w nocy. 10.20 p.m. It's nice to use Polish sometimes, you know. I don't use Polish as often nowadays. Okay, what am I... I think I'm building the door. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Wait. Oh, I need one more of those one by ones. Cool. Noise. And for this. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. We still have 11 viewers. Like, people come and go, but I appreciate it. You're coming and checking it out. Nice shirt. This one? Comic Con. It's a. Uh, I think it's last year's Comic Con shirt. I have this habit of going to Comic Con and buying three or four shirts every year. It's terrible. I can't help it. I have like 12 Comic Con shirts at this point. From like three years back. <laughs> yeah, this is the official Comic Con Toucan. It's a mascot of Comic Con. I think. San Diego Comic Con, that is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go this year as well. Um, can't wait to see what the exclusives are. Did you guys see that new set that was uh, announced? The um, the the Venomosaurus is that one? Yeah, with the um, ham, spider ham. <laughs> Here's the thing: I was I was like dead sure that spider ham would be a Comic Con exclusive minifigure, like Deadpool duck, right? For example. Um, but it, it's not. It's it's actually in that set, and this is like the only sole reason I will get that set. I think. Oh, it's so cute! Like my favorite character from the Spider Verse for sure. So, I hope it's gonna. I mean, I 
I'm glad it's not a Comic Con exclusive because that would be very hard to get. Um, so I'm I'm still wondering what the actual Comic Con exclusives this year will be. If they got this Spider Ham in a normal set, then what's gonna be at Comic Con? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay, where am I at? Let's see. Ah, that's a little like window window door handle. Nice. Okay. Whoa, this is this is a lot. This bo this build is kind of small. It's you know thousand like nine hundred sixty pieces, but man, it's complicated sometimes. It's a lot of small pieces. Like this music. Okay. Almost there. Well, bag number two seems to be pretty complex, but, but, almost there. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty then. I would say, is everybody subscribed yet? That watching? Is everybody subscribed? Are you sure? <laughs> no, I gotta plug some stuff, guys. You better subscribe. I gotta be that YouTuber, you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't already, found me by accident, scouring YouTube in the middle of the night. Found me, please subscribe. If you enjoy LEGO content, that is. Okay, back to the... <laughs> Regularly scheduled content. Also, you can check me out on Twitter. It's right there below the cam, right here. Michael Ritter. And you can check me out on Facebook at I am the Cool Factor. Uh, yeah, I am the Cool Factor on Facebook. There you go. Plug. Shameless. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, this way. Sorry. Look at that. Like a really cool. Come on, focus. This way. Oh, I keep forgetting which way is this way. Okay. See that build? It's really complex for a door handle, right? Yeah. Oh, this way. This way. This focus is so weird. Okay. Up, up, up. Uh. Okay. Driver's door are in. Nice. Such a complex build. No Instagram? Oh, I do have Instagram. I just forgot to put it on the screen. Uh, what's my Instagram? Wait up. Wait. 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 My microphone is covering my face. Um, yeah, because this laptop is such a weird position. The mic is just like... Okay, cool. Uh, what's my Instagram? I don't use it very often. I, I will, I promise. Uh, I, I, I promise I will use my Instagram more. Um, Troy, oh, that's my personal Instagram. Okay, so I, I used to have like a Polish Instagram, but I, I, I don't think it's an official um, cool factor Instagram. I should make one. But I'm gonna type it in the chat. <laughs> Why not, right? I will type it in the chat. So you can find me at... It's a weird name. There you go. It's, it's Człowiek Mike. It's like, it's my Polish kind of... A, a, a Polish channel I used to run, but the name stayed. So that's my Instagram now. It's not... I don't think it's gonna be a cool factor Instagram, but I think I should make a cool, cool factor Instagram. That's a good call. All right. But it's not much Lego there. I, I mean, I, I should actually launch a specific Lego Instagram. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm old school. I don't know this social media stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was always terrible at social media. I, I know YouTube, you know? I'm, I'm good at YouTube stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at YouTube. But Instagrams, Facebooks, I don't know, I'm old. <laughs> I 
fucking my day! Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm watching your live stream while I'm working on my custom Lego Millennium Falcon. Keep up the good work, love seeing your videos. Ike Grada. Ike, Ike Grada. Thanks for being here, dude. I Sorry I didn't see your message earlier. Um, thank you, ZB, for following on my IG. But I again, I will make probably a specific Cool Factor Lego related IG that I will advertise on my channel when it's ready, okay? Cool, thank you. But thanks for following. MySpace. Oh, yeah, I should post my MySpace account. <laughs> On my AOL, you know, my, uh, um, what's, what's the old people's, <laughs> um, other things. Let me just use my 56 k modem to connect to this internet thing. You know who Robert Kubica is? Of course I do. Dude. Polish, um, Formula One driver that had, that kind of just returned to racing in Formula One cars after a few years of recovery after a terrible crash in his rally car. He's like a, a Polish hero, like nobody ever thought he would return to actual being signed into a Formula One team again. He used to be a Formula One driver, he also used to be a rally car driver, he crashed in a rally car, got really bad, um, you know, with his body and recovered like fully I mean he's not as good anymore but he's still back in the game you know so he's kind of a inspiration for many young people in Poland I bet crazy story of this guy check him out Robert Kubica right which um, which team is he signed in with right now because um, he used to be BMW right back in the day no I, I I don't follow Formula 1, I just know and hear things here and there. Um, okay. ICQ! <laughs> hey, I remember that one! I remember ICQ. ICQ, ICQ, get it? It's a wordplay. Yeah, that was like, back in the day, there was a thing called IRC, Internet Relay Chat. So it, it was basically a place you needed like a special software to connect. It was like a bunch of chat rooms that you would go and chat with people. You know, now chat is everywhere, right? Everything has chat. But back in the day, IRC was the, the place to talk to people over the internet. And ICQ was called also like a kind of a communicator. Um, <laughs> my God, I feel old just having to explain this. Have to go to bed, but you have the good work. Thanks, Ben Ryan. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, dude. I'm old. <laughs> I'm in my 30s now. <laughs> I'm still playing with Lego bricks, so <laughs> talk about being mature. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Lego is for everybody. For all, all ages. There is no There is no such thing as being too old for Lego, everybody. Don't you forget that. For everybody and you know actually if you think about it like lego is pushing a lot of adult sets lately like this thing is really advertised um towards adults like they have those lifestyle shots they have those you know collectability factor included it's for adults for sure you're <laughs> making me feel old what i should what should i have to say <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, we're old chaps, that's what we are. You gotta accept it and just keep enjoying your life, man. Life is short, buy a Tesla. <laughs> that's my credo now. That's my credo. Funny enough, for those of you who've been watching me and know, I've been always a fan of whatever Elon Musk is doing or Tesla. And finally, I think week, two weekends ago, I did rent a Tesla Model 3 for a day uh, on Turo. I had like a coupon code or something and it wasn't really that expensive. Um, 
and I had a trip to LA and back. So I said like, well, I could take my car, but I could have some fun and re rent a Tesla, right? Because I always wanted to try one. Well, I did. And now what happened is I want one even more. <laughs> I tried to make a video of the trip and like vlog about it, but it was a family trip. So it was kind of hard to like vlog about it and make a good video. So I didn't really, I have some footage, but not really uh, editable footage. Maybe I can do a commentary of how it felt. But man, that car is amazing. Oh my God. I, I really love a Model 3. Love me self a Model 3, I would say. It's a, such a great car. If you haven't tried a Tesla, just, I don't know, just go, if you're in the US, go to a Tesla store, book a test drive or something, or go to Turo and book one for a day. It's such a fun car to drive. It's insanely fun to just drive, honestly. And not only that, like there's so many cool things about it. Woo! I told it to my friend like the other day after I, I came back from that weekend and like I met you know we, we have lunch at work and I talked to my friend and he's like oh you drove a Tesla dude like how was it and I was like oh you know this is like it's so cool it's an like autopilot and I had like a fully loaded I had a fully loaded dual um, dual motor long range version so with autopilot and all this like shenanigans everything was there and the car was just a blast to drive and I talked to him and I was like do like this and that and like and he's like, you know what? He's like, you know what? You could you could totally sell Teslas. You should be you should get hired in a Tesla. <laughs> I was like, Maybe I'm such a big fan, and I really want one right now. You know, Model Y coming out in like what two weeks. The moment they have a Model Y in the store, I have a Tesla store like in the mall next to me. Like it's a five minute walk. I swear, they know me by name. <laughs> Because I, I made a vlog with them one day for my Polish channel, like, I think three years ago when Model 3 came out. They allowed me to shoot a vlog in the in the, in the the store. Tesla employees are the best. And I, it was in Polish. It's on my Polish channel. Um, and ever since, I would stop by ever so and then and just, like, hang out in a Tesla with them <laughs> in, the, in the shop. So, I'm a big fan. Um... And I should maybe maybe they should hire me. I don't know, but I do have a job now. I'm older than you, then. Oh, hey, dude, they get us hooked and we get the money to spend. Maybe that's true. I started to communicate online before the internet via mailbox and modems and Fidonet. I'm feeling old. I don't know what Fidonet is, so probably you're older than me. But Netscape Navigator, I know that one. Um, funny story is that when, when my father started a business back in the 90s in Poland, he owns a printing business. And back in the day, he was very innovative, right? He started a printing business, but he also invested in one of the first Mac computers in my city back then. So I, I was like a little kid. I was like in the primary school back then. But I remember that he was one of the first people in my city to have Mac computers. And by Polish standards, it was a huge deal. Because what he did, he invested in Mac computers and he, get a, he had a graphics team on site to design stuff for the clients because printing, right? And I remember like Netscape and all this like first MacOS systems. It was like a... It wasn't even an iMac or anything like that. It was just like this big hunk of chunk of a metal case. It was a Mac Pro, but before the new Mac Pros, it was like the 1990s Mac Pro. And those things were like super powerful back in the day. And we like, you know, and I would hang out in, in his company and we had those graphic designers working on those Macs and they were super stoked because it was a new technology for a Polish person. And they would learn all this Adobe stuff that was like 20 years ago. Um, I remember Netscape Navigator just because of that, you know, it was like one of the first browsers I ever used on a, and that was like one of the first computers I ever used was a Mac. There you go. <laughs> so cool story there. But that was like 20 years ago. Okay, guys, I'm keep talking. Jeez, let's just keep building. I'm tired about this. Okay. Come on, let's, this bag is like there, almost there. Okay. 
door handles are in connecto patronum nice okay so the doors are in very nice and now I think what is this I don't know Let's see I think a window good times let's get man I remember one of the, the first Firefox versions that was a big deal back in the day Mozilla Thunderbird as an email client I think people still use that it's it's not like obsolete or anything <clears throat> I think they're still kicking I mean Firefox is one of the big um, you know still big uh, browsers still is London Bridge Bricks hey dude welcome back long time no see welcome to the stream after a long break good morning from the Mr. London wonderful place how did uh, remember that Johnny Depp in Sweeney Todd singing about London there is no place like London that song was really catchy I really like that musical with uh, Johnny Depp as Sweeney Todd they, they had this uh, music about the city of London this song okay I think that is the last bit of bug numero two I'm building the Chinese temple fair man there are some awesome pieces dude like this is like the set I kind of want let me know how it turns out um, I want this set I do okay so that's that, that's the uh, back window cool swing there we go okay is that the last piece of bag number two yes so we got extras you can see how many extras we have checking if there are not any extra pieces I should be having inside the build but no so extras on the side okay last bag I've been swinging for like what two hours and 30 minutes not too shabby for building and talking yeah those Chinese sets I really want to get but again my budget is tight right now so I can't buy everything I want I'm saving for things and stuff but I'm still doing videos so I might pick up a set here and there that's why there are not so many reviews of the channel right now because I don't have money for the, for the sets I have to buy a lot for the sets Hey Mike, good to see you doing a live build. I got the Fiat 500 yesterday along with the ISS and the GWP steam train. You mean... You mean this one? You mean this one? I got it today. I picked up this set like, you know, like 6 p.m. An hour before the Lego store closed in my vicinity. My own Lego store. So I got this guy with the set and to get the train you had to like spend extra like 99, right? So I had to get this too. Um, to pass the, the mark so the Mandalorian battle pack everybody I wanted to get this one for, for, for a long time hope everyone's having a good morning or good night yes we do I, I, I wanted to get the ISS as well but it was sold out Maybe I'll ask Lego Nice so he can, can send me one. <laughs> Maybe. You know what, guys? I gotta crack, crack open uh, a drink. It's it's no sugar. It's it's just water with um, pineapple flavor and coconut. <laughs> gotta drink. Hmm. Hello ZB, good to meet you mate, are you in Europe? Okay, you guys are getting to know each other, nice to see you guys. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's better. I was getting kind of dry in my mouth. Okay. There we go, let's go. Let's just clear this table, Oops, sorry, not the mic. Just clear the table just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, 
Okay, where are we at? Now oh, there is one more bag. Sorry, then open this one. Mike, would you recommend the UCS Falcon? Is it a complicated build? Recommend? Obviously, it's my favorite set by of all time. Is it complicated? Yes, it is. One of the biggest experiences back in my Brick Vault days was building that Falcon over four days of streaming. We kind of, we went nuts. Jack went, um, he spent the whole night in front, excuse me, in front of the Lego store, um, getting the Falcon when it was launching. The Lego store right here, where we bought it, was only having two sets uh, for sale on the launch day. So in order to get one, really early and fast, he spent the entire night in front of the Lego store. And he brought it to the studio, I came back in the morning, went to see him, gave him coffee, we went to the studio and we started building and it lasted like four days of streaming, I swear. That was I think one of the most complex builds I ever finished. I mean, I, I didn't build, build it fully by myself, but holy moly, that thing was... I have one it's right there, there is one right behind me in the closet in the box so i have my own copy of the falcon but i don't think i'm gonna build it again <laughs> it's kind of crazy so yes i recommend this set prepare to be amazed and prepare to spend some time on it okay lights front headlights um is the music good guys is the music level okay? Is it too loud, too quiet? Let me know, I can bump it lower or upper, let me know. Because I like this music, because I'm on the headphones, so it's kind of like chill right now. Um, but if you want the music to be louder, let me know. I can make it happen. Okay. Um. Okay, front lights. Oop. Okay. This thing is. Yeah, got the front headlights. There we go. <clears throat> oh, you're streaming to London Bridge? I should I should check out your streams sometime. Again, I, I didn't really sorry, I, I didn't really watch many Lego tubers lately uh, I know a lot of people are streaming I should like I should be get back get, get back into that game of, of actually watching other people who watch me as well because <laughs> it's it's I've been lacking I'm sorry I know everybody needs a lot of support these days being on YouTube um, so I should be watching more people but uh, I just it's it's very hard to find time to watch everybody I want but yeah, um, whenever I can, I watch, I, I tune in, I like, I, I comment, I, I do all those things for my fellow YouTubers that are just awesome and need support and everybody needs support these days. So comment, like, subscribe, you know, all this stuff to everybody in the chat right now. <laughs> there are some nice people in the chat. So many many pieces. Have you enjoyed the build? The cool factory looks great, and I believe a Polish flag sticker is on the case. Yes, it is. And I did enjoy the build. I actually, no, I'm a big fan of Creator cars. You know me. Um, Mustang is still my favorite. I like this one too, but it, I don't think it's gonna be my favorite. But I, I do enjoy the build. There's always some cool things to discover, like how they did the angle on the back section of the vehicle, um, how they did the seats. Uh, you just joined in so I didn't see but yeah, they made the seats in a super cool fashion how they connect um, Yeah, so there are many many cool things about it And I just noticed that this seat is not fully opening. Oh, there it is. It's just not perfectly aligned. Okay Yeah, the build is nice. I enjoy it It's hard to go wrong with a creator car honestly So yeah, there is a sticker of a Polish flag in the back, which is a super cool little easter egg for me, as a Polish person. Um, there you go. You have to mark some...
You have to mark some chance in advance the day before, send that order, send that order to the participant mailbox of your choice, and then you could download that kind of later. You have this case from mailbox to mailbox and it takes days for answers and the other side of the phone. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? Okay. I guess that was a joke. I don't know. I'm tired. It's it's almost 11 p.m. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Music lovers are spot on. Nice track as well. Where do you get your music, Mike? Um, London Bridge Bricks. I do get my music from Epidemic Sound. I have their subscription service. Uh, sponsor me, Epidemic? Anybody? No, just kidding. No, they should. You totally should. Uh, it's a very nice service. You pay monthly and you get all the music you want. For your YouTube videos and streams and whatnot, it's fully easy to use. It's like 15 bucks a month or like it's something. Um, it's great. I've been using them for a while now. It is great. Epidemic sound. Some of that is like mixed music from like different um, creators that allow the use of music in videos, but most of it is from Epidemic. Um, Okay, I think I'm done on this page. Okay, now we're doing the... I think the, f the, the, the hood assembly. Okay. Yeah, Mike, the Temple Fair is bloody beautiful. I'm just starting at it, starting at it, lol. Dude, you're convincing. <laughs> I might pick it up. I don't think I've seen that in the Lego store tonight. Uh, maybe they sold out. I know, like many people were drooling over that set. It's beautiful. You know, my main constraint is not only money, but also um, the space I have to display. I'm gonna make a video soon showing my little Lego corner because this is my little studio. There's like a few sets, you know, behind me, and there is not. There is like a few technic sets on the on the um, furniture uh, behind the camera. But most of my collection, which is not very impressive to be frank, like I don't own many LEGO sets, um, is in the other room on a little, like actually a three-story IKEA shelf with the Star Destroyer like looming on top. So I want to make a video just like just showing you what I have, you know, like tour of LEGO corner, not even a room, get it? <laughs> because it's not even a room, just a LEGO corner. But I like to keep things like compact and, and minimalistic and simple so I don't have a lot of stuff at home. I don't have space for that. So I have to pick and pick and display choose sets very wisely. Or my wife will kill me for buying too much Lego. <clears throat> That's where things are. Um, That's how I started way before the internet. Oh, I get it now, Sven. You got me there. You got me there. Um, we do a transatlantic live stream. If you ever would like to jump in, just get in touch and we'll add you in. It's good fun and you will always be welcome. Oh, cool. I'm going to check it out. Not right now because I want to finish the build, but I'm going to keep that in mind. Good thing that you brought it up because I'm kind of, not kind of, I'm really open to collaborations. Like, I met Justin, just too good, in my Toronto um, LEGO Legacy Heroes and Box mobile game event that we were both invited to, me as Beyond the Brick crew, and Justin, just too good, was there, and we even talked collabs and stuff. I just never followed up because, like, shortly after that, I kind of, like, faded away into not making videos. Um, but I know, like, you know, I would be open to any cool things that the community does, and I would like to be part of that, too. Like, you know, I didn't do much of that during the Brick Wall days, because we weren't really into that, but now I, you know, I'm my own boss now, so I can do a lot of new things for this channel. So, I would love to, um... Join people's stuff. Just see what people do, you know. Thank you, London Bridge, for that invitation. I will keep that in mind. 
Okay, Mike, I gotta sleep. Keep building. Can't wait to see your finished build on Instagram. Good night. Okay, now I have to do Instagram and post a picture. Got it. I got you, ZB. ZB. ZB, right? ZB. Perfect. Thank you so much, man. The cool factor, Mike. Will you be getting the new Technic Lamborghini? I want to. Beyond the Brick was very kind lately of sending me a lot of Technic sets for reviews, so. Wink, wink. John Joshua. You know, call me. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna buy it, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy expensive, but if I ever get a chance to review it, oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, I still have the Bugatti Chiron um, in the box, <laughs> I didn't even build it, I, I have it, I got it for a lot of VIP points, with a good discount, but I never build it. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Zabi, thank you. We do review speed builds, shitty builds, as, so please do have a look about when you have a moment. I'll be great to have you join us, mate. Yeah. Awesome, dude. I, I, I will check out your channel. I, I, I know that you're a long-time viewer. I'm terrible at, at getting back to people's channels, <laughs> but I promise I will check out your channel. <laughs> I should be better at this. The question is, will the wife allow it? <laughs> you know, when I get sets for reviews occasionally, um, thanks to the courtesy of Beyond the Brick, well, that's that's a no-brainer. You know, you get the set, you review it, you get to keep it. So, I'm happy with that. Um, but I always do my honest opinion, guys. It's not like, you know, I get sets and I, I don't get paid to tell nice things about them. It's not that how, how it works. Uh, but LEGO has this nice program when they send sets for reviews and um, you know I get those sets uh, through Beyond the Brick on, on behalf of them so that's nice um, but yeah w when I don't have to pay for it then we're good my marriage is saved you know? <laughs> if I have to pay $300 for a set then it's like uh, kind of you know you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying <laughs> you get me. Okay. 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 Come on. I'm in a good mood, but I gotta finish. Because it's getting late. It's almost 11 pm. Dedication to finish today. I'm building a Ninja City Mock, and a Temple Fair is gonna fit in perfect. Learned the techniques I want to use on some roofing. Great stuff. Ninja Go. City had some very amazing roofing techniques. I remember that. I think Ninjago City remains as one of the, my favorite sets of all time. It was such a surprise. I remember when it came out, everybody was like, we were drooling over that set. It was like, oh, this is great. This is Ninjago, like, next level. Um, and when the set came and we built it on Brick Vault and, and we we're just like, it was a main display piece for days and I think it still is in the studio. <laughs> what am I looking for? A, a cheese. A... Oh, that's so much yellow. Ah, I swear I should, I should build a habit of sorting the bricks every time I open a bag. Saturday stream I was part of had Ryan from MNR and we all built together and just hang out building chatting. Oh dude, that's nice. I, I dig this idea. Definitely I would like to be in it. Just scheduling, you know, we have to like find time. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out how you guys do it and like what's the time frame and like what time do you do it usually and if I can join in from California. If I find time, you know regarding my work, family time and stuff like that, definitely would make, uh, would like to make it happen. For sure. I'm down. Plus it's always so nice to build together, right? You just chat and chill and there's not like me talking to myself, or, I mean you, <laughs> uh, the entire time. All right. 
now I need those little uh, horns for detailing. Oh, so that's the front bumper we're building, actually. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I got the Ninjago City set just before it retired. I'm uh, so looking forward to building it soon. Nice. It's a great set. Great set. Great set again. Marvelous. I really liked your reviews, Mike. I like the American European vibe you have. It's good, unique selling point, mate. Thanks. We non American people have to keep it together. <laughs> I know. I keep saying this. Um, if I think about my career as a YouTube person, you know, starting Brick Vault and on my own and things like that. I, I, you know, when I, when I started, like obviously my accent was the main discussion topic about who is this guy, right? So, basically speaking, it's uh, it stayed with me for a long time. As uh, I need that print, the Fiat print, by the way. It stayed with me as a as a like a negative connotation for a long time, but it turned out to be a unique part of of me, and people kind of started recognizing me, to recognize me by the accent and say like, oh, that's this guy, and then you know people tend to like my reviews sometimes, and they like, oh, that's the guy that makes reviews and has an accent, but also it turned out to be like a a positive connotation, which is nice. It makes I guess a kind of like stand out that way. It's a good thing. I'm happy with that. Okay. Fiat. That's the front bumper, everybody. Um, and I put it upside down. Great stuff, Mike. You're great. Okay, so that's the correct way. That logo. Okay, I, I have to I have to show you this. Wait, this way? I keep forgetting which way is the focus. Okay, this way. So there is the logo. Those are the two little, like, horns um, that are making for this little detailing in the front of the car. There you go. Very nice. Which way am I... Okay. This focus ring is, is so weird. I gotta change the lens next time. Okay, never mind. And we need one more piece for this. <laughs> the course of Lego, my friend, is not space of storage. You have to justify it with your partner. Ha, ah, it's true. How would you describe the yellow? Um, I think we had this discussion before you joined us. I, the camera is a bit... It's kind of like... Actually, the camera might be showing it very accurately, depending on your screen settings. But I would describe, somebody describe it um, as a bleached out yellow. If you let the actual yellow of Lego sit in the sun for like a long period of time, then you end up with this. Um, for me, I would say it's, it's, it's a washed out yellow. Like, it's a little dissolved yellow. But it's very nice to the eye. It's very soft and mellow. I like this color and I think that it's a great choice they went with it. Because, you know, for anyone that has every single creator car on the shelf, this will stand out. It's a very unique piece. This will definitely stand out. Such a unique color. I think it's a great choice from LEGO. Okay, the bumper is in. There we go. The focus is not there, but I want to fiddle with the camera anymore at this point. Okay. Marty McFly from the future. <laughs> the subtle yellow color scheme is very nice on the eye. Nice building, Mike. Thanks, dude. It it is certainly very nice. I'm I'm happy that Lego went with it, and it actually turned out great. Okay, guys, let's finish this build by midnight, shall we? I promised my wife I would be done by midnight. So let's keep that promise. And I think I'm on a good track. I mean, right now it's like 11 past... 2 minutes past 11 of California time. So we have an hour to, to finish and just hang out. Mellow yellow. I think they call it the cool yellow. 
the cool factor, the cool yellow. <laughs> no, I think they call it the, the cool yellow. Mellow yellow. TM by the cool factor. <laughs> sure thing, dude. I mean, <laughs> that's funny. I'll be funny if you say it in your review like that. Smike from the cool factor said it's mellow yellow. <laughs> I think I read it in some other um, news uh, about the Fiat. Maybe I took it from somebody. I don't know at this point. Maybe I came up with it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I should take credit. Okay. Um. <clears throat> cool. All right, let's see where we are. Hmm. Okay, so that's the um, front angle chassis. Um, let's see, where do I put it? Oh wow. Wait, what? But how do I? Wait, there is something. Okay, I made this little corner in the wrong way. Okay, gotta fix it. Sorry, guys. Oops. Ah! Don't, don't break on me. Get back there. Okay. Sorry, I was like incorrectly built on one of the... Whoa, nice. I love how they did those angles. Check it out. See? Mike, it's so... Sorry about the over overexposure. I'm gonna turn those lights a bit. But... Um... Yeah, there's like a little connection here by the door and it's it's an angled front, so I really like it. Very nice. Okay, next side. Some really cool techniques, Lego. Good job. Um, as always, I mean... I feel like some most of the time creator cars are just the showcase of the amazing thought process of their designers, I swear. Who's the designer of this set? Guys, that is an excellent question. I never checked that. Maxiaki? No, who's this? No, they gotta match the designer, right? Who designed this set? It's a great manual, by the way, I like it. Uh, who is the designer? Pierre Normandin. That's the designer. That is the... Uh, give a shout out to this guy. Pierre Normandin. I, I don't recognize him very well. I don't, I don't know what else he made. How close? I don't know what else he made. Hmm. My favorite designer from LEGO is Mike Siaki. The Falcon, uh, no, not the Falcon. Uh, he did um, Saturn V, the Mustang, the um, Downtown Diner, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. Back to the build. Where are we at? It was like page. Uh, right here, I think. <clears throat> yeah, doing the other side. Got it. Okay, perfect. Do all the windows have plastic glass in them? Um, so they, oops, uh, the front 
the 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 windshield is 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 glass the the back shield is glass and you can see those little curved glass pieces in the back section of the car those are coming from the manchester united uh, old trafford stand you that the this set was first seeing those windows in that arc form actually i have that set on my bed <laughs> next to me because it wasn't on the table um uh, I did the uh, time lapse of the Old Trafford for Beyond the Brick. Time lapse build. I did not really review it. Well, maybe I should review it on this channel. Would you guys like to see the Old Trafford review? I just time lapse this build. I never reviewed it. I don't think that's gonna be a best review from me because I I have I'm not a soccer fan. So this set was very a uh, mech for me, like meh. But I will review it. I mean, would you like, guys like to see on this channel review of the Old Trafford? Don't think many people reviewed it. That's the piece. Oh my god, I was like looking at the piece like what is that piece? I see that now. No problem, London, uh, Bridge Bricks. I'm a guitar player who uh, needed a hobby that will give me hands and rest. I slowly got back into Lego. Ha, huh? and I'm addicted. Once you go Lego, you never go back, man. Once you go brick, you never go back. It doesn't rhyme. Once you go brick, you never go back. It's a cool quote. I'm a football soccer fan. Good thing that you use the word football because I'm triggered by the word soccer. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, a bit, just tiny. Um, would like to see what you think. Sure, um, but again, that will be coming from a non-football fan. Get it? Um, so, you know, I'm not a fan of Manchester United. I'm. I mean, I, I know the team. I'm, I'm just I've never been to Old Trafford. I've never been there. Um, I know Poland is a big country for football, but I'm not the fan again. So that would be coming from a, somebody who, um, again, is not a fan of football. But maybe I would just like talk a bit about the uh, how the build is and how it's it's actually a great set when it comes to build and and the looks and everything. Um, so that would be a very unbiased review, if you will. Mike, how would you describe the Star Destroyer build? Challenging, long, and a lot of grey bricks. <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's like it, the level of, of, of coolness and the uh, effort of this build. And um, I might be biased a bit because I did the Star Destroyer while recording a time lapse. There is like a big time lapse video on Beyond the Brick from the Star Destroyer build. So I was very, it was an exhausting build. It was long and, and tiring, I gotta say that. But I, I still enjoyed it. I think the, how they came out with some of the techniques of the build um, and how it all turned out in the end. Satisfying, another word I would, I would use when I would describe the Star Destroyer, satisfying in the end. It was, I, I was very happy to see it finished. <laughs> because like you, you build these chunks, you know, you, you build the frame and then you build the panels of the gribbling and all the like sides and you, it all comes together. Like it, you like fill the gaps on the massive frame of the ship and it just comes together. And then you build the bridge area and just like goes in chunks, like the, 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 the command center, the command bridge, and then the chunks. It's, it's super nice to like you see it coming together and how like the big massive pieces fall into each, la each other and like fit together. It's kind of impressive. It's very impressive to see how they, how they, how they pulled that set off. 
Morning, Mike. Whoa, you up late today, Galagrade. Hey, it's my first stream after a long time, so I'm dedicated to finishing the set tonight. Um, I picked it up, you know, tonight in the Lego store, and I was like, let's stream it, everybody. So here I am. But I'm almost there. It's the bug number three for anybody who just joined. Out of three. It's like nine bugs in total per three sections. Section one, three bugs. Section two, three bugs. Section three, three bugs. <clears throat> I'm like section three right now, so it's the last, the last stretch. Okay. Um, yes, I do feel a bit tired, but I'm not there yet. Like, you know, I'm a seasoned Lego streaming veteran, if you will. I've, I've, I've been, I, I, I've, I've done longer streams than this. Um. So morning, welcome to the stream. Thanks, man. Morning, Greg. Resting at home. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, guys, for being here. Still like 15 viewers coming and going. It's nice to have you. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Okay. This is weird music. I don't like it. Don't you guys think? It's very like umts, umts, umts. Let's change it. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I should expand my playlist. I, I have more music, I just didn't um, copy it from the other computer for this computer, the streaming laptop. Okay. <clears throat> for, so, I hope I'm gonna be um, streaming every so and then. Oop. Oh, God, sorry. Just threw it like there is no tomorrow. Um, so yeah, streams will you know, hopefully continue on a... <laughs> not sure how regular basis, but... We're gonna work on the quality, and we're gonna work on the music, and we're gonna work on things. It's gonna be all good. Better and stuff. Okay. Um, what else is that? Okay, it goes two. One. Two. I loved this Fiat 500, I passed my driving test in the new version of the 500. Did you drive the Abarth? I like the new one, the Abarth. Um, and we get one soon. Yeah, I have two, actually... No, uh, no, one person in my at my work uh, has a Fiat 500 Abarth. Very cool car, super compact, fast like there is no tomorrow. It's fast. It's really cool. Like a little zipper, you know, like a hot hatch. A nice fast car. Okay. Okay, that's the um, the hood. Or should I say, the bonnet? For all you Londoners, British people out there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very simple build for the hood. Purchased the Mustang recently. Uh, what are your impressions for that set? It's my favorite LEGO Creator car. That's it. <laughs> the review I did of the Mustang for the for Brick Vault um, is my in my top three favorite videos I have ever made. Um, that video was like pure fun to make. Um, it was. I think it turned out great. I really enjoyed editing it. It's just like a fun review. One of the best reviews I've, I think I, ma I made. If you go check it out on Brick Vault, it's um, just Mustang review. But I, I I do remember that one. It still remains one of my favorite videos and one of my favorite sets. For sure. For sure. Great set. Everybody was just like ooing and owing at that set. And uh, myself included. The Mustang was awesome. And sadly I don't have it. Yeah. The, the set I reviewed stayed with Brickworld, obviously. But... Maybe I should get it at some point. So see, here's the thing. Like, I closed the... I closed the hood. 
and it was just just ever so slightly there's something not fully connected see like see that maybe I just have to push some bricks in but there is this like little spring action that I do not like okay it's just a little gap oh. Oh well. Oh well. I'm gonna check it later. See if I like pushed everything correctly. But it, yeah, it does feel like it doesn't want to close. Okay. So I shall note it in my review if I don't fix it. Yeah, the Abarth is the fast version, right? Yeah. So my friend has the Abarth. It's fast. Michael, it's good to see you streaming, keep up the good work. Thanks, Arman. Thanks for being here and commenting and asking good questions. I really appreciate it. At least I don't have to have the awkward silence because there's always something to talk about. <laughs> so I appreciate viewers asking good questions. I do appreciate it. For sure. Okay, guys, so now we're using those. I, those are the, the pieces I mentioned. Those came out in the Old Trafford for the first time, I think. Or so I believe. Or so I believe. I'm just getting ready to take son to school breakfast time. Hey, where are you from? Yeah, I gotta get my kids to school tomorrow too. It's Monday after all, so I gotta finish that set and get a good night's sleep. Before midnight, hopefully. But we're almost there. Almost there. Okay. So I, uh, when I finish the set, I won't take too long to talk about it. We're gonna show things, of course. We're gonna show everything that it offers, but you can expect a full-on review from me, guys. So that's gonna be, you know, showing all the details of this set for sure. In case you missed something on the stream, don't you worry, there's gonna be a video. There will be a video. Yeah, I, I see, I see, I, I, I miss. This should be this way, obviously. Okay. I got you. Nice, so see the arcs are built in such a cool, nice fashion. It's just like a very satisfying fit. Okay. And we need two of those hinge holders. Okay. How do you call that piece professionally? I've been in the LEGO game for four or five years, I don't know. And I still don't know how to call pieces. Galagade and us are streaming buddies. Oh, awesome. UK, nice. Marty McFly, um, I really love vehicles from the 60s and 50s. Mike, would you support a creator expert Vespa? That would be cool. Vespas are Italian, right? Or French? Italian? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't have the Harley here. I have it in the other room. You know, the Lego is into bikes again. You know, Harley, the fat boy, they still do um, Technique. Yeah, I think Vespa is so iconic that they should definitely consider um, doing it. Okay, guys, here's what I noticed, by the way. Um, you know, most of the set is in this mellow yellow <laughs> or cool yellow, but those holders, connectors, those are tan. Or if they are yellow, they're way off. So they don't match. Not sure if you can see that in the stream, but those are totally different color. Seems like it's tan. I don't think they made them in this mellow yellow. So I think you can see at least how close the tan is to the mellow yellow. It's such a cool name, right? It sounds, it has a ring to it, like ye mellow yellow. I like it. You should use it in your review, London Bricks. Oh, 
you are you, you're doing the set right you are asking me yeah i think so <laughs> or maybe not i don't know so many people here um Um, pa -pa 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 -pa. Okay, it's twenty past eleven. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fast up. Oh, this one. Uh, okay, stickers. Got it. So we need stickers on this, like just little strips. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, that's one. Still a lot of stickers left. No license plate on this car yet. Okay, sounds good. The, the thing I got really good at is applying stickers. Fast and usually accurately. Okay, so we have the front shield, the windshield. Cool. The roof is on fire. The roof right now. The roof is on fire. The Bloodhound Gang, right? That was the song. I was listening to them when I was younger. My god, I sound old. I still listen to them, I just don't like that music. Okay. <sighs> Any Aussies want to know? Target have the Creator Assembly Square and the roller coaster online 20% off. Good deal. Jump on them. Great sets. I crashed the roller coaster in the back of my car. When I was transporting it to the new brick vault studio and the lady in front of me I saw it was a lady not, not nothing sexist here just I saw that she she took brakes and she had to like turn left illegally suddenly and I had to hit the brakes and um, well the set hit the back of my seat and it crashed and I think it remained that way for years I mean for months it was like when we moved the studios remember that <laughs> terrible drivers can be everywhere men women you name it <laughs> just happened to be this um, lady that didn't know how to turn and not endanger everybody else in the road on the road. Yeah, the set got disassembled. Rapid, unplanned disassembly in the back of my car. Because that was the only way I could fit it. Because it was on the big plank of wood, assembled with everything. And I just said, okay, I'm gonna put it on the back seat of my car. Well, that happened. Okay, oh, 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 oh. So now we're building that roof mechanism that um, is gonna be using the cloth. So we're gonna have a sunroof in this old school era because they didn't have power moon roofs or sun roofs back in the in the day so they've been using um they had cloth okay Ooh, gonna get tired kind of getting tired here but we're good is boon covering the bricks cascade this year mike or is it someone else doing that i have no idea i don't know I gotta get in touch with Beyond the Brick. I know we're uh, the four of us, me, Boone, John, and Joshua. We're gonna be doing um, Brick Fair, Brick World Chicago. That's the big event uh, I'm going to visit with them. Um, 
so I'm not I'm not entirely sure who's doing Brick Cascade this year. But yeah, again, if you guys are gonna be at the Brick Fair Chicago, Brick Fair, Brick World, right? Brick World, Brick World Chicago. Um, you're gonna be seeing us, um, you know, cruising around the floor in our Beyond the Brick red shirts. Can't miss that. So yeah, come say hi. I'm gonna be there. High five. Maybe I'm gonna have some cool factor stickers if they allow me. <laughs> I don't know. Something. Yeah. Merch. Merch, merch. Um, now I'm gonna be on the official Beyond the Brick business. I gotta say it's really cool what Joshua and John are doing at Beyond the Brick because you know right now I'm part of the team because um, the channel is, is kind of like becoming this collaborative entity and that I think it's a great idea because they invited like people like me, Boone, Boone is actually more full-time than me, I'm not full-time with them, I'm just like a guest um, appearance from here on out, um, but people like me, like Brickwiz, um, a few other people collaborating, um, it's just like a collective of creators that unite under the banner of Beyond the Brick, which is awesome because everybody's bringing some different types of content and different style of reviews, which keeps the channel fresh and nice and you can see different faces and people in the videos, which is great. I think that's the way to go. So I'm happy to be part of that. Super happy to be part of that. Very nice. Okay, and two. Whew. Okay, I think the roof is there. Now we need that cloth. Yes. So where is that cloth thingy? There it is. I got it. Behold. So I'm gonna open that. Oh, nice. Look, they. They thought about it. They included the um, the little cardboard, so it's not it's perfect shape and form. And now we okay. Let's see what do we do here. So it goes here through the hole. Come on. There you go. And the second one. There you go. And now we we do it like this. Zip it through. And now we gotta just put the bar on. Okay. There we go. And now it just goes like this. Secure it. Okay. And. Oh. Is that the way it's gonna work? I think so. Oh, it just like. Yeah. I think that's the way it's kind of like it's hard to like roll it but I think that's how it's gonna open okay okay I like it all right so the roof goes here and on to the back of the car there we go Ah, so satisfying. Click, 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 click. And now, there we go. See? Let me just zoom the camera for you. Okay, so this is it. Shoop. Shoop. Oh, yeah, so you can see the issue is that you have to like put your finger here, so it like kind of, there we go, and then, shoop. nice, right? Super nice. Fighting with that zoom. Oh, sorry, focus. Okay. That's like the real roof, I know. That's why I was so excited because they recreated that function perfectly. And to cover it on the side, little flashing mo motion here. Nice. Okay, so we need a spare wheel now. We can put our spare wheel right where the. Um, 
where the front is. There you go. Spare wheel. Good. Close. Okay. A few other touches. And that's gonna be it. And we still need the the famous Bob Ross stand with the painting. <laughs> but this car comes, which is a really great little accessory. Very nice. Oh, so that's the uh, we're doing the the engine cover, the rear. This car has an engine in the rear. Just like most of the early Fiats. I remember the predecessor, I think, of this car, or maybe not a predecessor, but a famous car in Poland by Fiat was a car named the Fiat 126P, which was cutely named in Poland Maluch, which means a small kid, like a kiddo. A tiny kid. It's like a tiny person, and it was just like a kind of like resembling this car a bit. You can type it in. Just type Fiat 126P. It was a Polish-made car by Fiat, and my friend used to have one. It was like one of the cheapest, funniest cars you can get ever. It was super funny and nice. It had a tiny engine, it was, sometimes we called it the coffer or kashlak, like not from coffin, but from coughing, because it sounded like it was coughing all the, all the time, it was like, <laughs> you know, it was just doing things. Hey, subscription, thanks. I wonder, like, why those subs show up so late, I don't know, that's good. Um, thank you for the sub on YouTube. So it was like, the engine sounded very weird to this car, and it was nicknamed the, the coffer. Look it up, it's a very old, funny car. Kind of uh, resembling the Fiat 500. Cinquecento. Fiat Cinquecento. Are you far enough into the build to say what this set is worth it? Yeah, dude, I'm almost done. Like, this is the last bit. I would say it is worth the price. It is very cute, very well made. It doesn't stand away from other creator expert sets uh, when it comes to cars. It has its quality. It, it's a bit of obscene language in that song, in Polish though, but I don't want to get demonetized or something. It was a Polish hip hop with a bit few words here and there. Um, so yeah, yeah, I would say the set is worth the price. It's worth, it's, it's a no brainer for creator expert car collectors. It's good, it's good, I, I, I expect no less. It, it's not like a wow factor, it doesn't have that wow factor, the cool factor, you know. Um, I think the Mustang had it way more, but I mean, come on, Mustang, right? I mean, muscle car, everybody wanted it. It was like a super huge release. This is not, this is not the Mustang, okay? okay? But it has its own little cute category of being those nice, First of all, it, the color stands out. Um, it's gonna be standing out in your collection of creator cars, so that's one thing. And the, it's such an iconic vehicle, such a cute little car, such Italian way of, of motorization, that I think it has its own place in the lineup. So in that way, worth it. If you're thinking it's gonna be like a crazy, super extravagant Mustang, it's not. So in that way, if you want to have just one creator car, I would say go for the Mustang. But if you're thinking if it's going to fit your collection, then don't think no more, just buy it. Okay, I'm touching more stickers. Cute Factor 10. I should I should have named the channel Cute Factor, I swear. Now it... Now it... 
It's clear to me. It should have been the cute factor all along. The cute factor. And all the hearts and pink and everything. Yay! Nice, so that's the back. I'm just applying stickers. Nueva 500, that's the um, little vintage logo. Very cool. And I messed up. <laughs> no, seriously, I did mess up. Oh my god, I have to like switch those bricks now because. Okay, not a big deal. I think. Sorry. I applied the stickers in the wrong way. nails don't like it okay I'm sorry I, I have to apply the stickers the correct way okay so this is the bottom so the little stripes go up I think it's the ventilation for the engine and then this goes here and this goes here okay fixed it got it okay I'm gonna snap it in Nice. I forgot about this. Okay, so wink. This thing actually opens exactly like in I remember in the 126P. Oh, see, so this is something I don't like. You can move the window, and it, yeah, it moves. So one thing that I don't like, but there you go. Very nice. Okay, I know messing stickers is the worst. Okay, I, I think oh, I'm good. Okay, what's next? Okay, license plates. Okay, so we have two license plates to choose from. So you can go with the. Yeah, you can go with the. Um more uh, long one or the more um, rectangular one and two different versions i'm gonna go with the classic uh, what's on the set like tofu 1965 if anybody knows what these license plates mean because you know always license plate means something on creator cars be it um so you have three versions of license plates two of the um, more like uh, thin ones and one type of Actually, sorry like three types of plates But front is oh my, I messed it up front is thin Back is more rectangular. There we go, but three types of Am I am I doing the right one? No, I'm not doing the right one But you have all the pieces you need for like all the sets of of plates so we're gonna go with the Tofu 1965. Is that the um, the year when it was designed? Was it? I don't know. Please fix me. Oh no! Oh wait. Oh yes. No, it's fine. I thought they had like not enough bricks for all the plates. But we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> all right. License plate in the back. Boom. License plate in the front, boom. See? Very nice. Whew! Okay, what else? Um, we gotta get the coffer. <laughs> That's how you call it, the coffer. The, the, the suitcase, whatever. Okay, that's in the back. There we go. Our oh, little exhaust pipe. Where is it? There we go. It's so cute. It's a little exhaust pipe. Nice. And then... Hey, Mike! Shade Slayer, welcome. What's up? I'm almost ending the stream, dude. Um, I've been streaming, yeah, for the last three and a half hours. Oh my god, did I? Jesus. 
nice. Made it. I'm just building the last few bits. And I'm gonna be finishing soon. Okay. So we're building the, um, the little suitcase. Very cool. Okay. I wanna finish because I really wanna be done by midnight. And it's getting close. Like dangerously close. Because actually I'm swimming from my bedroom and uh, probably my wife wants to go to sleep too. Um, okay. So this goes like this. Well, that suitcase is surprisingly complex for a suitcase. So great to see you on a stream again. I remember a few years ago when they were streams nearly every day. I went by Sauron then. However, oh, I remember you actually. Hey, what's up? So yeah, uh, you know, Brickbolt was not streaming for a long time now. Um, I never really stopped liking streaming, so I did like one stream like back in the day on this channel, but I think nowadays like we're gonna see more streams from me. Hopefully more often that I figured out my setup and I'm more confident with my setup, so it works pretty well. And I think maybe I'm gonna have more space quite soon for my own uh, Lego work. We'll see how that goes. But that's like it, you know, getting back to the game of YouTube. That's a test run. I did some few news videos. There's a stream right here you're watching. Um, so slowly but surely, you know, trying to get my confidence back and trying to get back into this what I used to do. Okay, and those are the um, the little flag stickers that one of them is Poland, which I'm super happy about. There it is. Yay. There's the Polish flag. I think maybe those are all the countries that this vehicle was sold in, but you know, I don't remember if anybody in Poland had a Fiat 500. You know, the 126P on the other hand was a very popular vehicle because it was very cheap and quite nice to drive. It was like a super funny actually to drive. Kind of weird. My friend had one. Okay, there you go. Nice. The yellow color on this set is so cool looking. It's nice to see a lot of elements on that color in one set. Yes, so this is called officially called the cool yellow. I call it the mellow yellow. <laughs> I like the name, um, and it is it is certainly good looking. It's gonna make this set stand out. Okay, you can see the rims are silver, they're shiny. So I think we're we're there with the car, guys. I think the wheels are the last part, and then we have to build the the Bob Ross stand with the painting, because this car comes with a little cute stand that implies that it's driven by some sort of an artist or just Bob Ross himself. We've coined the term mellow yellow. I'm, I'm so gonna use this term in my review for sure. Ha! Huh. The music that's playing right now this music, I remember, <laughs> I remember I used this music in the Mustang review. Because I remember this video so well. It was one of the best videos I made, in my opinion. Very exciting. I'm sure to jump on as many of them as I can. Thanks, Shade Slayer. I appreciate it. Nice to have old fans back. I appreciate it. Very cool. So yeah, this set, uh, 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 sorry, apparently this um, this color, as somebody said in the chat, uh, is present in uh, in Friends, in the new Friends sets, which I wasn't, I think I, I kind of remember, but I wasn't really aware of. I think somebody said in the new restaurant, this color is kind of present. 
Uh, but yeah, this is like the only set so far that goes full on on that yellow. And I think somebody also mentioned that this set alone introduces 40 new bricks in that color per brick set. Just 40 bricks in that color appear for the first time in this set, in that color. Okay, okay guys, so the car is done. Let me just build um, the Bob Ross stand. <laughs> Um, and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit and I'm gonna tune off because it's it's like it's almost midnight and I promised I'd be done by midnight so I thought I would be faster than this but you know first stream in such a long time I certainly did not go very fast If I'll use it in mine too, but I will credit him. <laughs> sure thing, thanks dude. Yeah, it would be funny to say like... <sighs> Again, I don't know if I came up with this term or I, I read it somewhere. I don't know. It kind of like rhymes so well and stayed in my head. So, may have read it somewhere. At this point, I do not know. The Bob Ross stand. I mean, come on, look at it. It's so Bob Ross. Okay. Let's see what else is there. Okay. Oh, okay, so it actually it collapses, nice. So it's gonna be uh, like a tripod, but you can collapse it and put it in the car, obviously. Very nice. Very nice. There's a little paint palette holder, whatever you call that thing. And here is the beloved painting. By the way, the license plate stickers, those are still staying. I didn't put them on, I'm gonna put them later. Um, this is also for the license plate. You can have them in white, I'm gonna add them later. I don't wanna do it right now. Um, but yeah, okay. This is the most important piece of the set. Uh, oh my God, this is scary, wait, maybe this way. Such a nice sticker. Ah! Oh my god, I hate doing this. No! No! Okay, sorry guys. Uh, okay, maybe if I... This is so... I wanna do it right. The right way. Okay. Okay, that'll do. Well... Okay, so this thing, I think it stays like this, you put the painting on, like this, and there's like a little leg that extends in the back and you can collapse it and put it in the car, to the roof I guess, and this is like a little shelf for the um, for your um, brush yeah so you can put the little brush here all we need is a Bob Ross minifigure at this point and the little paints there we go and that will be it so you put it here it's such a cute little look at that <laughs> I love it. Such a cute set. Okay, all the spares. We got an extra brush. We got the license plate holders. Done! Three hours and 40 minutes on the stream, which would be translated to maybe, maybe two and a half hours non stream, I would say. Yeah, that's done. Nice. You can see how much yellow there is. See, all those are yellow parts. 
nice very cool guys so that's gonna be it um maybe just like i'm not gonna review this set right now i'm gonna do a proper video but initial impressions cool color we all, we all agreed that it's a cool color um very cute i think what might be one of the smaller um cars of the creator lineup i think it's gonna be just like smaller than usual car yes yeah, simple and cute the stand is great the functions of the car include opening hood with the spare tire can i can i grab the spare tire um inside so there is not much of a uh, space this car like if i think about it right now that's why this has this thing in the back because it doesn't have any storage space whatsoever there is the tire space and the engine is in the back so there is nothing else and the roof i mean you have retractable roof so you can't really um use it anything on top of it but you that's how the roof retracts in this little cool cloth piece very cool it's like the original car um the doors open and uh, Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. Does that really happen in the real thing? I, I guess not. So there is no limiter. You can just fully go 180 on the doors. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, right? I don't know. Okay. Inside, I'm not sure if you see, but you have the telescopic wheel. So the wheel moves up and down, which is cool. There's the, uh, the shifter. There's the handbrake there too um the seats work like in the real thing they go a bit forward so the person can get into the rear couch um the detailed interior i like it there's only one sticker for the radio can you guys see it uh yeah you can it's there maybe i'm gonna just like maybe zoom in the camera just a bit more okay so we're gonna do it that way yeah, maybe through the roof how about that okay so you can see there's a sticker for the radio there's the interior very cute simple but i like it i i like those those doors are crazy opening like that okay close the roof cool um the windows are from the old trafford i believe for the first time using that set but they appear in this set all the yellow everywhere this thing moves a bit maybe is that a feature i don't know maybe I don't think that the back window opened like that. I, I think it's just like the way the set is designed. And the little, um, you know, storage is just your suitcase that is being held in the back of the car. And of course you can open the whole thing uh, and look at the engine. So the engine is, um, I don't know the exact specifics of the engine. I don't remember. I'm not a mechanic or anything like that. But you can see it's pretty detailed. It's solidly looking. So the stickers are, you know, there's a sticker like below the window here um, for the ventilation ports. But honestly, the car has such a good use of stickers. Um, in the back, you can see the Fiat 500 Nueva logo next to the um, license plate. But that's about it. Everything else is just cool. There is no prints in the set. However, oh, sorry, there are prints. I'm sorry. Of course, the, the front logo the Fiat logo is the print, and there is a logo um, on the on the steering wheel too. So there you go. All right, guys, I'm gonna be tuning out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, just get the camera back on. Oh, this way, oh, perfect. Um, let me just switch to this so I can say my goodbyes. Where's my mouse? Oh, I, I gotta use this actually. Woo! Cool. Yeah, the camera is not the best quality, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, this camera, I say, like, I'm gonna probably switch to a better webcam. Um, nice. I like it. Should you buy it? Yeah, it's 90 bucks. It's it's uh, it's good price for the creator expert car. It's not overpriced, I think. It's just, just exactly where it should be. Guys, um, thank you so much. Have a good night. Galagade, thank you. Uh, London Bridge, thank you. Shade Slayer, thank you. Uh, such a charming build, I, I, I understand. Easier to get in, <laughs> through that. Um, dark Red Seas provide nice contrast. I, that, yeah, that's a good point too. I should put in the review. The, the actual Dark Seas are a great, great choice for this car to be in the contrast. 
Um, lawnmower engine, that is true. I think it's not much, that much more powerful than a lawnmower, to be frank. Um, thanks for the inspiration for me to review this today. I'm looking forward to building this in a few hours. You're gonna enjoy it. I really like this set. Um, London Bridge Bricks. Uh, Alex, Alex Xavier, uh, thank you. Very nice set. I might get it. Sure thing. Very good set. Have a top day as well. So, good night, good day to anybody in the chat right now, um, whatever you are. Have a fantastic night and a fantastic day. I'm gonna be guys seeing you guys in more videos. I'm gonna be making uh, for sure uh, a bit of a commentary video what the future holds for this channel. I'm gonna be asking you some questions, so please be. Um, if you watch this video in the near future, let me know in the comment section if you have some answers for those questions. I'm gonna be diving into that in that video. I'm gonna be doing probably a little tour of my current collection so you guys can see how I work now and it's not much but it's something. Um, and streams probably will be will be also happening, news videos for sure, fan mocks like we talked, I wanna get back to that fan mock um, content. Um, maybe some mock showcases too, because I, I still I still keep browsing mocks every week. Um, I just keep doing that. It's my habit. It's it's like what I kept for years, and I I just stopped doing content about it. But I I, I might as well do content about it because it, it's it's I, I enjoy it very much. Um, thumbs up to everybody in the stream. Thank you for the few donations that you guys gave. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. And uh, I'll be tuning off for the night. So thank you so much for being here. The Fiat 500. Molto bene. Very nice. Very good car. La Dolce Vita, as they say. In the credo for that car. Awesome. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you. This is the chat. This is the camera. I'll see you in the next video. And stream. And whatever we show up together. All right. Peace.